it's worse than he feels. And he's up there at the pole, filling up big old bags of coal. There ain't gonna be any presents underneath. Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays. This is our big, not so big, uh, end of the year holiday celebration. We're going to be going for two hours here for everybody, and then at the third, at the sec, at the end of the second hour, we are going patrons only, like we used to do in the olden days, for a little cocktail party, a little office party. We're going to drop our pants. I'm going to finally make my move on Big Doug Pound. Mr. Doug Pound's in the house. Good evening. Good evening. And Vic Derberger is back. I'm going to go with the old standby. What's up, everybody? What's up, And Captain Carlin holding down the fort back there. Everybody's back. We're back. We were on the weekends this for the past couple weeks, as you know. and But Saturday was tough. It was a great show. It turned out to be a great show. We had David Wayne here, and uh, 
I'll tell you what, though. We had we were missing Matt. We were missing Luke. We're missing Wes. I need Vic's missing laughter. Vic. I was even gone. Yeah. I need Vic's. I needed Vic's laughter. I know it felt it's empty a without quiet. you Does here. It? Wow. And it but it was my fault. I'm working. I'm doing TV shows left and right. You name it. You name the show. I'm on it. Acting. Thank you. Glad to be here. And <laughs> let me take the credit for that, my friends. Let's hear that baby one more time. Roll that baby. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. Can you guess who that is? I want this. To, this will be the game of the show today. First game of the show. Okay. Doug, you know who it is. Yes, I do. Does anybody out there want to guess? Let's take a zoomer and make sure everything's working. Does anybody want to guess? Who is that? Let's hear one more time. Shit, where is that? <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> it's going to be tricky. Who wants to take a stab at this? Stephen Meltzer. Stephen Meltzer. What do you think? Can you guess? I, I don't have anything. Uh, oh. Uh, no uh, guess. Yeah. No. Yep. All right, bye. <laughs> You don't want to guess. You don't want to play games. He has an agenda, I can see. It's probably an annoying You got a agenda. song? Well, let him okay, give him a shot. You. Give him a chance. I can tell. Trust me. Goodbye. He's muted. He's muted he's already. All right, who has a guess? Oh, play one yeah, more time. Oh, whoops. There we go. Take a guess, Steven. Uh, 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 who, who's the host of the Basement Show you guys always rip on? No. Bill Maher? No. Yeah, Bill Sorry. Maher. Oh, but, oh. No, it's not Bill Maher. It's the best I can do for you, guess-wise. Okay. Take one more guess, and we'll move along with the show. This We're already off script. Anybody? Anybody in the Zoom here? Anyone have an inkling? Did you want to play something on your guitar? Does the chat? Does the chat? No, don't know. Is anybody guessing in the chat? Lauren? Lauren, you got a guess? Lauren? <laughs> what am I, in Twin Peaks? Tyson Scott Price, you got a guess? Uh, is it Mike Love? Mike Love? No. no. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. Good to be here. <laughs> All right. All right. We're, we'll play. We're not gonna. We're not gonna eat up too much time on this. If you have a guess, it's a tough one. I'm I'm impressed. But the point is, I found that drop. Send it to the boys. See, people go. Can, I, I, can I, I love give you, a hint? drops, Doug and Vic. No thanks to me for anything I do. I never get one word of thanks. Nobody calls me. Thank you, Tim. You don't call me. I don't call you every time you send a drop to us. No. <laughs> you should call me and say thanks for the drop. Hey, Betty. Hey, Bobby. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bobby. Bubula. <laughs> and this is why I let Doug take the drops from you. Just go ahead, half of them. Okay. Well, you know? I can I give a hint? No. No hints. Uh, it's at a this deep point. hint. No it's, hints. It's a deep hint, though. Hmm. No, I don't want a hint. But it's a funny hint. If we get, if we get to the, uh, okay, and in thirty minutes, if we still don't get a guess, we're going for hints. Listen, happy holidays. Uh, we've got Neil Hamburger coming in shortly. We've got uh, Adam Resnick zooming in from his bath. Alan. What I said, Alan. <laughs> Adam Resnick. <laughs> That's a surprise Adam, to Adam. Right? Yeah, Adam. he does. Definitely said Adam Resnick. Oh, who cares? <laughs> We got the good Resnick on the show today. Alan Resnick. Alan Resnick. Yeah. What did I say, Adam? Yeah. yeah. Same difference. Respect. Give me a break. Um, this is the last episode of the show uh, this year. Perhaps of Not all the time. Year. <laughs> no. um, a couple of subjects today. Don't be playing. Listen, have respect for the guests. There's no reason to play drops of them, especially not when they're here. <laughs> yeah, but my question is... Why? <laughs> uh... Uh, <laughs> no more samples, guys. Um, I want to hear from you today about a couple of things. I want to hear. Stop it, Vic. <laughs> You're gonna get a plenty of him okay, in the okay, show. Yeah, you know what I mean? Drops. Right. Yeah. Jeez. I want to hear <laughs> your New Year's resolution. Oh yeah. Mine's gonna be 1080. P. Oh, come on. I did that joke. That, joke. that was my first joke. Oh, but first now I'm joke. up to 4K. Mm -hmm. And now the other topic we can bring up throughout the show, if you're interested, if you want to chime in on this, it's your least favorite Christmas song. We're getting pelted in the head 
with Christmas songs wherever you go, certainly in the makeup chair. As I asked, oh, yeah. a lot yeah. of Christmas music there. It can be, it doesn't have to be your, fa your least favorite Christmas song. Could be the one that I played in the cold open. Doug, would that go on your list of one of the worst Christmas songs? That's a pretty good song, Tim. Okay, I gotta give it up for that one. But <laughs> when you're in the makeup chair and you're done with your with your scene, do you go afterwards? You go to the make down chair and they slap mm. you around. They like hell no. They but no, I, you down. I, I, I want to clarify this. It can be a song that you don't necessarily hate, but you don't like. If there's a certain rendition of "Fucking Santa Claus Is Coming to Town" or whatever that you hate, bring that up. I don't care. I actually don't care what people think. You don't about really care. So I get to any of them. <laughs> Do you have one off the top of your head, Vic? Um, I don't like the. Uh, what's that one that's really bad from um, the the Christmas shoes? You ever hear that one mm -hmm. where they buy like shoes for the uh, for the dead girl or the, yeah. the mom like that's dying or something like yeah. that? That one's awful. But like, um, I like pretty much everything okay. uh, Christmas related. <laughs> I I haven't heard a bad. Christmas song other than that than that one to be honest you love it, it all me, it puts me in the mood we're also going to be doing the egg no everyone's doing this on TikTok right Matt the eggnog challenge yeah we actually I think Phil was gonna issue it he was gonna like oh he he, he was gonna prompt that well no he was gonna yeah here he can explain bring him in real quick and then we'll uh, hey guys then... how's everything going good Merry Christmas to you and uh, Happy Hanukkah and everything. Hi, Thank you so much. Um, good to see. Oh, am I not on the? Uh, am I not on camera? Yeah, can we get him on a split screen there, Brett? There you go. There's our pal Phil. There How are we? Go. Great, another great <laughs> angle see, coming in from Phil. <laughs> good to see Andy Warhol uh, in studio. Yes, oh. we haven't commented on the great Doug Lucenhops look. He looks a little like uh, that, or uh, who is that? Morning, a uh, uh, Captain Noah. I am a new person. No. I'm not Andy Warhol. I'm not referring to anything else. This okay. Well, anyways, Phil, wh look. what are you here to say? You got a. Yeah, I heard about this eggnog challenge on TikTok. It sounds fun. Oh well, I mean, I don't know if you guys want to do it or not, but I came uh, with uh, all kinds of uh, eggnog prepared. I was going to prepare it actually. I don't know if y'all can see this. A little setup here. Yeah, I can see it. Hello, food fans. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> And I, I'm a little embarrassed at the moment because I got the cream, I got the sugar. <laughs> I was looking in the fridge. I don't have the eggs. Uh oh, that's a big part of. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. a big part of the. Egg um, I got I got some brandy. I got a nice little thing of brandy here uh, to mix in. You know what though? Um, Actually, I know. I think I know where I can find some eggs. Believe it or not. Um, <laughs> bear with me just a second, guys. Uh, hang on. Oh, jeez. Um, there. You know what? There's a. I'm in my garage at the moment. Yeah. There are. There's a nest up here. It's like a. Um, <laughs> oh no! You're not gonna. An abandoned nest. Oh. I don't know if y'all can see. Not. Oh. Hang on a second. Oh, those are, yeah, those are Isn't usually that? not edible eggs, are they? You can't just no, crack like a couple Robin's of eggs. Or those no? are about right. Those like oh. have little uh, I mean, baby birds in there. Right, they're already in there. I guess now's not the season for that, though. Mm -hmm. Phil, see. you lost us here. I've got a couple. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's a couple here. I dropped some of them. Hang on a second. Okay, here we go. There we go. So I can use these. These will. Um, well, you're an adult, work. grown man, so you can do whatever you want. I don't, I'm not going to ask you to or tell you to do anything. Ugh. So I'm going to just. Uh, I'm just going to crack these open here. <laughs> toss them in. Oh, why don't you take those nasty? Oh, oh no! This oh, it's okay. Rotten. I got a glove on. It's How okay. did they smell? Okay. You know what? This this nest, I know it's been here for about three months. It's um, been cold so that's there. Why I know. I know. I can take them because the mom must have left them here. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, has it been it, cold there it, in Atlanta? Yeah, it's been like forty degrees, so it's been like in a refrigerator. So they probably. Oh, she's. They're probably good. All right. Let me get that out. Uh, a little pungent, no question about that. But pungent, uh, yeah. Well, maybe the alcohol will kill any of the bacteria. <laughs> in the, in the, in the, 
but that is those. That's probably not gonna do it to make a whole batch. Oh boy! All right. Enough for a cup, though, probably. What do you got there? What's, what's the host for, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, if I want to fill up. Uh, you don't want to not water that right. down. So. Why don't we check back in with you later as you're working on your... I'm not going to watch you. <laughs> well, do y'all want to have like a little challenge or something? And uh, like Yeah, I'll drink some eggnog. Do we than, have eggnog? There's more around the house. I can probably get enough to make... I mean, what do you... I mean, well, the eggnog challenge I mean, is you have to drink a gallon of eggnog <laughs> is, is the challenge. So. Oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, hey, it's Christmas. Let's go for it. Let's let's say. All right. Well, you work I on can, your I recipe. Can, I, I want to bring in. I want to bring in Neil Hamburger. Okay, you keep working on that. Hey, go ahead. Why don't you just <laughs> fill up some water in a pitcher? Why are you yes. using your fucking garage hose? It's taking that two percent down to a one percent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in a gallon jug. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put it in a gallon jug so y'all will know. I'll have a. I'll have a gallon. So yeah. when we're drinking this stuff, you'll know that I'm. Being honest, real deal. Okay. All right, well, let's let's do this. Let's um, welcome our first guest, our first live, our only live guest in the studio today. But the, he makes up for ten live guests. The only working, the only working entertainer today in America, live entertainer. It's Mr. Neil Hamburger. Please take a seat. Let's see. Hello. How do I loosen this up? Here? Hello. Santa Claus. Mr. Neil Hamburger live in the studio. You've hosted, guest hosted this show before. Is that correct? Yeah, very different experience. Yeah? Very different. Well, I had to be there a lot earlier. Yeah. Well, it's a morning show. Yeah, this is a, an exactly. evening spectacular. But I don't see why I had to be there at 4.30 for that, but they didn't seem to trust me uh, that I was going to be able to uh, handle some of the technical issues. And yeah. so we had to do these run-throughs over and over again. Right. It was very tedious. And then these guys had their stand-ins there, so they didn't. They weren't even there until 7. Well, I'm, I apologize. I, we, we'll work on that for the next time. But you didn't have to get here that early today. No, no, I just I just walked in the door ten seconds ago. Oh well, well, it's good to have you in the studio. This is exciting. Do you do you uh, do you like the holidays? Not particularly. No, no, <laughs> no because you can't uh, you can't do your shows. You can't mm. go out and perform your jokes for the people, right? Because they're all with their stinking families. <laughs> Well, and, uh, and so then I'm basically uh, shut down. It's it's like another lockdown. Right. So you you, you don't have there's no, you don't have an audience that goes uh, that that would you know take one night out of the the Christmas holidays to come see you. Well, you occasionally get these corporate oh. uh, Christmas party shows. Have but you then done I, those? Yeah, but then they tell me to leave. I mean, <laughs> during the show, I get a tap on that you're going to have to leave, sir, and then they don't pay. And you're invited. And I did. Yeah, I did one of these for. Uh, American Airlines, and they, they, you know, they didn't like it. So, well, anyway, sorry about word that. got out. Too. Yeah. You have any, um, we're talking New Year's resolutions. That's a kind of a nice time of year to start contemplating that. Do you have anything that's, that's uh, crawling on your head that you want to think about? Maybe? I do have a couple, but it's not so much for me. I don't have these kinds <laughs> of problems. It's, it's resolutions for everybody else. Oh, uh, well, they yeah, sure. Do. I mean, feel what free. They need to do. <clears throat> what? what? I, I have several of them. Because I'm one. seeing these things all day long. Yeah. That these people. Things, things that improve. get under your skin. Yeah. And and in this case, well, in the first of my 47 uh, resolutions for, for the. Uh, 47. Okay. <laughs> well, let's not do them all. Okay. Well, well then it's going to be a bad year because if the people don't correct these <laughs> yeah. issues, then you will all be the one suffering. All right. Well, let's hear a few. Well, the first thing is I went to the UPS store. Last week to get to ship presents to all of you guys. Oh, that's and, nice. Yeah. Did you get the presents? Uh, nothing's come in yet. Okay. No. Well, I sent it ground. You can get the tracking yeah. number to us. We can keep an eye on well, it. Well, this, this shop, the UPS store is only about five miles away, and this was on Tuesday, so I'm thinking there's an issue there. Mm. Anyway, this is my resolution, is that this lady in line in front of me with one of these little dogs. Mm. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just waiting and looking on my phone as you do and things with mm -hmm. these packages. I'm not yeah. going to say what the present is. And then, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
I, I, she, she's done. She leaves. And then I'm next in line, and I notice that the dog has gone uh, to the toilet Number on two. the floor Inside. At, at the UPS store, and she's just left. A drop of a, a no, just turd. a huge pile of dog shit in the store. Awful. And she's just gone, and she knew that the dog did this, I guarantee you. And then I had to tell the, the guy behind the counter, and he yeah. just shook his head. He was very dismayed by this. That's, so, the, so that's the resolution. Don't do that. Well, of course, I think bring that's a, 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 I mean, bring a bag. Yeah, yeah, sure. Bring a don't bag shit. and clean it up. Don't have your dog shit inside uh, anywhere. No, it, it, I mean, even on the median okay. strip isn't good, but in the UPS store? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. What else? Even if it yeah, peed, it'd be like U P S. Well, I mean, I guess the S could be for shit. Yeah, U P and shit. U P and shit. But there wasn't any liquid. Oh. This was a dry bowel movement. At least it was dry. It was very dry. It seemed that the dog, depending on what the, the diet is for the dog, too much ash in the diet will produce too much ash? A dry uh, bowel movement. Oh, like yeah. like maybe she's putting her cigarettes in the well, they put volcanic All right, well, I don't, I'm not in interested in this. Okay. Anymore. I am. As no, I want to know. He's got a dog, the, the, but the I don't solid, think your dog the, would do that. I don't have the dog anymore, but, you know, for future dogs. Because of situations like this. No. What, what's another <laughs> resolution that, that you wish other people would uh, pay well, attention to? Well, this, this goes out to the men. So, ladies, you it's can, a, you it's can all, It's all you got tonight. You can leave, ladies. You don't have to listen to this. This is for the men. When you are using a urinal... <laughs> You do not pick your nose and then wipe <laughs> yeah. the snot the, or the, the inserts, yeah. I guess you call them, that are found in the in the nasal cavity on the wall over the urinal. No. Now, I'm seeing this everywhere I go. You guys have seen this? I've seen it. Do you and see I it don't happening? understand that. That And I've, I've, I've given this as a resolution several years in the past, and it doesn't seem it's to not work. Clicking. It's not getting out. Well, so, I, think, I think what's happening is people are into going to the bathroom. They're getting different fluids out of their bodies. And gels, which would a burger would be a gel, well, and maybe is, next to the urinal there could be a little booger wiping yeah. station. They could come up we'll with just something. get a tissue and blow your nose, exactly. or just wash it down the sink. Because then, when it's on the wall, <laughs> I've actually seen one restroom. This was a service station. It was a Chevron, mm. and they had painted over oh. all of painted this painted over the booger, painted oh, over, no. uh, and and you could see what had happened <laughs> because then. <laughs> the acids, I guess, that you find in human snot, it started to eat through the paint. Oh my gosh! Wow. So this is wow. this is a good resolution <laughs> yeah. to get the word out. I think a booger. Spray, somebody could get in there and scrape it with I, one of those walls. One of my, one one of my early jobs, I, I worked for a school, and in the summertime, I had to uh, go into the urinals and see where because the, the the piss would like. Rot or uh, <laughs> would make what? All the, mm-hmm. it would make the uh, what's that called when it, it turns the like dirty. I don't know, the metal like stain it. Yeah, and, and I would have to like paint over it with special paint. Oh, well, every listen, this is not very Christmassy, oh. I have to say. I'm not feeling the <laughs> Christmas <laughs> energy. We're trying to right improve now. people's lives. Do you have which, something? Uh, would, would you I, recommend? Sorry, would you recommend someone carrying a hanky around to, to for those? Situations? Oh yeah, what, yes, what's your thoughts on hankies? Because in addition, you don't put the snot on the wall, but in addition, your hand also was all over your genitals before, yeah. and then you're sticking that right up your nose. So. I mean, this is just a worst case scenario. And yeah. then you've got these flushless urinals. And that's just laziness. That's just well, a company saying, why spend money on the thing to flush it? Let's just let people piss in this and it'll go down the drain. Well, let that's me a ask you this. Urinal. Let me ask you this. There's what, no special technology. What, what do you think about handkerchiefs? Do you like do you do you approve of the idea of somebody blowing their nose, picking their nose and putting it back in their pocket? No, you you you, you put those in the laundry hamper. Okay. Or throw them mm-hmm. away. And hankies are cheap. But, you know, I get hankies because uh, uh, in my job as an entertainer, a lot of the great acts will have a handkerchief Mm -hmm. out of the pocket. Yeah, The dirty little secret is they're not really handkerchiefs. You buy the corner of a Uh, handkerchief, (laughs) which is stapled to a card, an index card, (laughs) and that goes in your pocket. So if somebody asks me, excuse me, can I have... Uh, use your hanky to yeah. blow, the, you know, I, no, you can't you <laughs> to can do. blow my nose. All right, one more of these, please, and then we'll get some from the audience. <laughs> well, this one. And then is, please try to keep it a little less, maybe a little I'm less. I'm loving these. Uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, what's a good word less for it? Less verbose? Or no, 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 no. Less sensible? No, no, less no. Less helpful? No. Uh, yes, scatological. That's it. Oh. Well, I don't think the nostrils are scatological. <laughs> it's strictly from yeah. the anus. I see. Sorry, I apologize. Um, so uh, this other one, I think, is a little more uh, 
uh, I guess, PG, okay. PG rated, uh, which is eat more walnuts in the year. Oh. Now, this is something I learned on a plane. I was sitting next to a guy from the American Walnut Board, <laughs> and he started talking to me, and he said that they're better than peanuts. It's for for, your, the for taste your health? And for your health. Oh, for your for the taste. Well, that seems taste, personal, and also, and personal also preference. He but. personally uh, felt that he was going to lose his job in the coming year because the <laughs> sales of walnuts have flatlined. Oh, and so he was asking me to help get the word out for him. And okay. so I said I would said I was going on your show, Tim, and he knew the show. And he said, please ask the viewers to eat and consume more of these walnuts. You can put them in cakes. Dime, is it Diamond? In, is that who's doing the, 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 the walnuts? Well, he's part of an industry group. I see. I think Blue Diamond does almonds. Doug, you can check that out instead of playing these wacky sounds. <laughs> uh, look the, uh, look this up. But I think the walnut is a different... Blue Diamond Phillips? No, this is uh, the Blue Diamond uh, Nut Factory up in Sacramento, and they produce all the almonds that... Uh, make our lives worth living. So this guy <laughs> is more of a walnut guy, uh -huh. and he also said that the prostate gland, okay. and this is getting scandalogical, but it looks like a walnut, and, and that's sort of nature's clue to eat more walnuts because that will prevent issues with your prostate gland. Wow. The more walnuts you eat, the healthier of a prostate you will have. Okay. Well, listen, I'm sure there's <laughs> lots of people on Zoom or the hotline. We have some, someone on the hotline. We could... Uh, Sure, people have questions for Neil Hamburger, uh, or me, or Doug, or Vic. Certainly not for Matt. Yeah, it seems like Blue Diamond is purely doing. They're in the almond. Yeah, yeah. Well, who's handling walnuts now? I'm not. Per I mean, I don't just. I don't want to disrespect your friend or your the guy you met. No, I, I didn't stay in touch with no, him. No, he, so. he uh, walnuts not my favorite. Well, it was a long flight. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got to say, I got a little tired of hearing about this. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph three eight six. Ah, Joseph from the, uh, topic Mary, <laughs> Mary, the Jesus, and Joseph. I like Hello, that. Hello, uh, I've got a, a a least favorite Christmas song for, for you guys. Christ. Oh yeah, we'll get Neil's Amen. perspective on that too. Amen. What's your least favorite Christmas song? Do you guys song? know what? Uh, do you guys know uh, "Fear the Band"? Oh yeah, First. not like punk rock. Yeah, they have a song. Oh, the band oh, they Fear. They have a song, song called, called Bleep. Uh, Christmas. Yeah, it's called F U uh, uh, C K Christmas. Well, I just said bleep Christmas to try to keep the show clean, and then he yeah, goes and, and also stomps keep, all over it, and also keep the show moving. Go ahead, try that again. What's the name of the song? Christmas. Uh, F U C K Christmas. I don't want to say. I appreciate that. Glad you could drop in. Yeah. So I don't know anything about that song. Do you have you know the song? I know that I know both the the uh, bleeped version yeah. and then the other. The thing with that song is, my dear friend, I think it's only about thirty seconds long, so that can't be your least favorite anything. It it doesn't uh, stick around right. long enough yeah. to hate. But I don't. I've never listened to it. Well, then why are you calling up? And yeah, what the hell's it? your problem? <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. Ooh. Now, do you have a guess? Out. Do you have a guess on that voice that you just heard? I think it's <laughs> Gary you. Busey. Glad to be here. You think it's Gary Busey? Yeah. That is incorrect. Okay. All right, then Jake Busey. No, it's no <laughs> Busey. Uh, do you have a New Year's resolution friend on the phone? Uh, yeah, I'd like to stop swearing so much. Well-timed mm. comedy right there. That's huh. clever. That's what we call a, uh, a callback. Happy New Year. And guess what? Yeah, it's a reference to 30 seconds ago, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun what you did. You make the show worth yeah. listening to with your with your comedy and your energy. And your obscenity. Yeah, better yeah. than Nick Fuentes. Oh, huh? All right, thanks for calling. We gave him a chance to say what he <laughs> I know. He's what a, he's a, How about on Zoom? Who's got a question for Neil? You got a question for... Uh, uh, Christmas song, hate. What's your least favorite Christmas song, Neil Hamburg? Oh, it's it's got to be that Feliz Navidad. You Feliz know, Navidad. Feliz. Feliz. I don't mind that part. It's the I want to wish you were married. That part yeah. is just gross. Yeah. It sounds like gross From the bottom. Uh, singing. I don't mind that. Cor very corny, very unpleasant to hear. I uh, could I could probably put. I know, I, know that, I know Doug's got that one lined up. He's got every snippet. 
in the book. I don't have that one. Uh-huh. Doug, you got a least favorite uh, Julio Iglesias song? does that, right? No, 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 no. It's 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 some uh, group of guys that ended up going down. Menudo. The toilet. I don't know who does it. I think Julio, yeah, I think Julio on does. my list would high on my list might be. Uh, I'm. It's I'm, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Fuck that one. <laughs> I don't like the Mariah <laughs> Carey one. Oh no. Oh, oh, really? That's good. I, think I don't it's know. Pretty, it's too new. It's I need right. the classics. Yeah. yeah. This is, um, I, I remember this one, my, my least favorite Christmas song. Years ago, like 20 years ago, and I worked at a beer distributor. In, uh, a beard a distributor? Beer, a, beard, <laughs> a beer distributor. A beer distributor. A beer distributor. And it was, like, <laughs> it was like outside, so I'd have to, it was like a drive through beer distributor. And, distributor. And every day this guy came by, he had like crushes on all of us that were there, and he would, this old man, he would pull up and his- Wait, what? Back up. He had it's, crushes on everyone that worked there? Yeah, yeah, like everybody that was there. He had a thing for everybody. Okay. And he would pull his van up, and he would blast this and sh- just stare at us. Hey, you know this one? Oh, yeah, this is a classic. So, oh, I don't know the classic. I like this, whatever it is. He sounds like a nice guy. Yeah. Timothy, what is it called? Dominic the Donkey. Oh, yeah, I hate that song. I don't know, that That's minor. That's minor. That's minor. All right, well, Matt, we should do the uh, City about, of the Day. What about oh, Reason for the Season the by Mike Love? Oh, I don't know that one. Let's listen to that after the uh, City of the Day segment. The day. <laughs> City of the Day, sponsored by Kingdom Come Boom Boom Presents. You want to read this one, Doug? Sure. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm in the ad, though. Are you sick of giving coal to your bratty children? Do you feel obligated to buy your wicked parents and family members something, some sort of present? Well, now you can give a gift and send a strong message of disappointment with Kingdom Come Boom Boom presents. When your so-called loved one opens one of these presents, their faces will get blasted with your choice of explosive material, including blue slime, red furry, red fury? Red fury. Or classic black soot. You can even customize your explosion with our array of colors and textures. So this holiday season, show your family some love, some tough love with Kingdom Come Boom Boom presents. I don't, available exclusively at Michael's. I don't like, I don't like Boom Boom Boom. I don't like Boom Boom. Doug Kanye, yes, uh, Kanye, yes, was uh, was uh, had some thoughts on Neil Hamburger. Is that is that true? Yeah, that was one of the outtakes. Um, Neil Hamburger loved Gene Simmons and the lead singer Ava Rao Smith. Oh, that was Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Hamburger loved Gene Simmons and the lead singer of Aerosmith. <laughs> So there's both he, weird he Al says and that you love Gene Simmons and the lead singer of Aerosmith. Now, what so do you this have? is con- this is contradicting your your stage act, yeah. which you're pretty vocally uh, critical of these two people. Well, I point out some of the the issues that I have with some of the things that they've done. I would say that uh, 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 the singer, the Aerosmith guy, you know who I'm talking about. Stephen that's a, that's a resolution we should all have is to tune him out because <laughs> uh, in in terms of just a bad sounding. Uh, voice Mm -hmm. and just an ugly face, ugly personality, and it just uh, never quits. It never quits. Gene Simmons has the courtesy to wear makeup, so Uh you can't (laughs) see this face. (laughs) This Aerosmith guy, and now he's doing country and western. He thinks he's Hank Williams. Well, he's not. It's it's pitiful. Yeah. He's Hank or Chip Williams. So less 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 Steven Tyler in the new new year. I'm asking... I mean, you. Everybody's got to make their own personal resolution. But I would move that to your top of your list. All right, who is the city of the day, Matt? Ashley Brown, are you there? Hello. Hi, Hi, Ashley. Hello. Can she say the city of the day, or Doug found the pot of gold, Uh, aka Stephen Tyler, section of his computer? You don't like this. Me and Vic both have Tyler. Well, I mean, that's pretty rude, Doug. I just said we don't want to hear it. It's true. Well, I mean, maybe we just get it all out now. Before, and then... He said no more toilet talk, and I stopped. 
And then I Even said no more Tyler, Tyler talk. And there he goes. He got it going full I'm not saying it. Fire. Kanye is saying it. Steven Tyler has a beautiful voice and it does quit. <laughs> okay. He says it does quit. <laughs> well, I... Can we get the city of the day, please? <laughs> well, don't say Tyler, right. Texas. <laughs> where, where, where is it? Wrong. Wellington, New Zealand. Oh! oh. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. So what is it like? Are you, uh, we finally aligned with your time zone, huh? Today, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's usually like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. here, so. In the land of Wanda. Uh, what, what city are you in again? Wellington. Wellington. Day, have you been to Wellington? I have not been there. You've been to Auckland? I sure have. What's the... Uh, also Christchurch. I've been, I've been there. And Rotorua. Are you in one of the Hobbit movies like our friend Britt McKenzie? Christ. <laughs> Uh, no, but I know a few people who have been. Apparently, have the whole town's been in those Hobbit movies. Yes. Um, okay. They're just playing dead hobbits. Yes. That, well, there's a famous scene with hundreds of dead hobbits. Yeah, that's bad work. <laughs> yeah, corpses. That corpse seems awful. Nobody's wait, proud wait, wait. of their kids when they tell them they played a dead hobbit in a movie. No, no one's seen. I don't think anyone... Uh, I have, but most people haven't made it through the third Hobbit movie. Dead. What they don't know is pretty close towards the end of that movie. There's like a seven or eight minute shot. And it's this, it's a tracking shot or a sort of steady cam shot. And it's just corpses, oh. corpses of <laughs> Hobbits, mangled, burned. Wow. And wow. it's set, you're, you're watching this going, I can't believe this is going on for this long. Seven minutes. And it's not computer no music. generated. These are <laughs> no. actors. Yeah, they're actors. And there's no music. It's the weirdest thing. But people don't get to that point in the movie because no right. one's, you know, hasn't really. I sure haven't. Yeah, I know. No... Uh, when they ring them golden bells. What's your resolution for this year? Do you do that down in Niles Island? <laughs> resolution? Um, I don't know if I have a resolution, but I think it'd be fun to make a puppet. Oh, wow. In 2023. What'd you say? Uh, That's all I got. Okay. I like that idea. Not a big puppet head. Why don't you have a, a New Zealandish accent? I'm confused. I was born in the U.S. <laughs> There's another clue, by the way. Mm -hmm. The clue just came. Oh, out. a great clue, actually. The clue USA! just came. Out. USA! Anything else? Do you have a question for Mr. Neil Hamburger? Um, does he have any New Year's resolutions? Oh my God, he apparently he has 47 of them. Yeah, I have quite a few, but I've been told not to, uh, I've been muted. I've been no, stopped. No, 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 no. Uh, give give her one more resolution. Uh, not to, uh, well, I think what people need to do is start buying, uh, socks in bulk and then you throw the socks away. Uh, every day at about noon and put on another pair. So you have two 12-hour shifts with brand new socks. And now, then we're I've not heard this is the sleeping thing. with the socks on? What's that? You're sleeping with the socks on? Yeah, you you, you put on a new pair at midnight. Uh, and no, then, and then at 12 noon, <laughs> you take that pair off and put on the second pair. And then at midnight, you burn the two pairs that you've accumulated through the day. Burn them. Yeah, because the problem is, is the smell of the socks. <laughs> And I Not think for me, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm traveling a lot in uh, buses, planes, uh -huh. uh, sometimes freight ships that have Can one have small shift? room for right. passengers. Yeah, and these people take never, their shoes uh, off. Of course, and that's that's where you see this is the issue, right? You know. Well, you know who do, used to do that is uh, Jerry Lewis. He did one pair a day. Okay, you're saying two pairs. I'm a day. saying two. A day. But Jerry Lewis would throw his socks away after after one. Yeah, but he use. wouldn't burn them. No, <laughs> well, we don't know. What he if you did one sock and then you know, like every twelve hours you do, you know, then you do the right one, then you do the left one. That's just compounding the issue. Um, all right. Well, what a wonderful uh, transatlantic, no, trans Pacific experience this has been. Uh, do you celebrate the holidays in New Zealand? I don't know much about the culture there. I don't know if it's. Um. Yeah, not not as much as the U.S. No. I think the U.S. seems to do it pretty hard. We go hard. You know, we have something interesting, Matt, 
Uh, Nick Manley is here with a ceiling fan that is not <laughs> operating at the moment. I would be. Thanks, I don't think actually, we've ever seen buddy. this. Nick Manley, and then I think I think Alan Bath time. Oh God! Hey guys, Nick. Happy New Year. You turn it on? Turn it on. It's okay, going. good. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure it's on. On oh, the light, too. Cool. Yeah, that's better, yeah. don't you think? Uh, I'm real chili beans now. <laughs> Yo, oh, it's a little cold with the air now? Yeah. Okay. But I'll, 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 you know, I'll get through it. I'll persevere. Yeah, we just, we prefer them on, you know, <laughs> it's a better look. Do you want it like slow so that you can see it moving? Yeah, let's take a look. All right. Let's see what that does for the show. <laughs> and I can. Can you stand so I'll, that your I'll head is this. in the center of it, yeah. blocking the light, and then it will look like a halo? Mm-hmm. Now, lower. A little bit yeah, lower. Little, yes, little, little lower. Little, uh, uh, yes, I can't see stuff. It. Oh, no, it looks like, he looks yeah. like a dunce or whatever, like those, uh, <laughs> you know. It looks like called? Inspector Gadget. Yeah. They're still crazy. Hey, stay like uh, that. Milk. Stay like that. Uh, happy holidays. Likewise. Amen. Uh, should we check in with Alan and the uh, our friend Alan? What do I call him, Adam? Alan. Alan Bath Time. Alan Bath Time. I don't know if you're familiar with Alan Bath Time. I'm and then sure. we have a special Christmas song coming from Mr. Neil Hamburger. Yeah. Alan, can you hear us? Hey. Hi. Hey, there he is. <laughs> My happy Christmas! <laughs> it's a Christmas. Hey guys! Nice. You got a little filter on there. That's cool. And you got some decorate. Did you decorate your bath? Yeah, I got Christmas light. I did a Christmas tree bath, a Christmas bath. And I'm just, I'm so happy to be here on the uh, the what do you call this show? Office hours. Office Christmas hours. Show. Christmas spectacular. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get electrocuted, and that's not going to be pleasant for us to have to see. No, or for his family. It's worth the risk to to spread holiday cheer. Hi, hi, Neil. Hi. Well, I I guess I'm the last person you're going to speak to. This is very (laughs) dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah. What's happening, Alan? Oh, I I'm having uh I'm doing I'm doing my Christmas bath time. I do every year. I get in the bath time for Christmas, and I I just take a bath. Yeah, I, I read. I read my Christmas news. Oh, I, what's? Do you have any news Christmas to share news. today? Well, I. It's not my news. It's just world news around Christmas time. I read an interesting article, a Christmas article, on my news app about uh, bo- boys and toys for boys around Christmas time. Apparently, they did a, a study for. They did a study on boys where they gave boys uh, boy toys, and they found out that giving a. Uh, a, a boy, a, a toy for a boy, like a gun or a police car or a hat, makes the boy calm and gives their, they have a better attention span. And uh-huh. I thought that was kind of a fascinating or- article. They also, in the article, they said, if you, they did a test and they gave a, a, a girl a boy toy. They gave a girl an Iron Man toy and, and it made the girl <laughs> mischievous. She stayed up later than she should have and she was eating crackers all night. So, I think there's something interesting in that. I, I do like that. I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so is this a bath you're in in a in a mental hospital? <laughs> this is my. Uh, that's no, not nice. this is my hot bath, and I take a hot bath. I take a hot bath once in the morning. I get out of the bath. I dry off. I have a cup of water. I read no, some sh- more news. I get in the bath. Yeah, in you the should. You should I'll, be all for I'll, this. You're Mister. You want things clean and. And and, I, and I also want not the, putrid and stinky. But I also want the the, the mental the brain to be clean as well. <laughs> well. Are you wearing swim trunks in that bath, please? That's uh, my little secret. I never reveal my secret. But when I when I That's take baths, no. people like to yeah. watch me and look at my bodies and check, they try to get a good glimpse through the bubbles and see what they can see. But I'll never tell. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what else is happening? <laughs> I oh oh I I have I read an interesting article about the hot the hot new gift this year. It's not a toy, it's a plant. It is a hot new house plant that doesn't grow no matter how much you water it, no matter how well you treat the plant, it won't grow grow. And people are fighting in the streets trying to get their hands on this this plant. They want to see if they can make the plant grow. So that's the gift I want, but it's sold out in all the stores. What's the plant called? 
It, I don't know the name of the plant. I, I just skimmed the articles. I don't usually take notes on what they say. I just kind of try to remember it. And it, I think it was just, I, I had a funny kind of science-y name. Robert Plant? Called, it, no, it's probably called Christmas Plant. So it, it, it it's a real living plant that doesn't grow. It's a real living plant. It comes out of the seed full size. No matter what you do, you can't make this plant grow. And they're all the same. I've never heard of such a thing. That's... Uh, we can we can look into that. You I don't know about more that. More news. But right. do, do you have to water it and everything to keep it? And you do have to water it, but it, it also it won't. Even if it dies, it, it will stay the same size. What, you, what are you eating? What is going on? It's medication. I, uh, <laughs> I oh, these are just sugar-free tums that I'm eating. <laughs> those are head meds, as, as you would say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> are those potatoes or bubbles? It These looks more like potatoes. I, I like it looks like Idaho bath. spuds. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that film you get when you're bo when you're boiling potatoes. That that, that that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah. Add some leeks and you have a great soup. Yeah. Oh, look at that! You got a little ladle in there. We should check in with yeah. Phil as well. He's he's making his eggnog. It's a very disgusting show we're having today. <laughs> well, Alan, can we check in with you a little later? You're going to be in the bath. Yeah, I'm relaxing in my bath. Take your time. I'll just be here. And, it looks okay. quite nice, you know? I don't know. It it's nice. cold, though. It's yeah, a cold it's bath. It's cold water. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, hey, Phil. I don't know if you know Phil. Uh, Braun oh, has been making uh, we eggnog. We two years in prison together. Yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> oh, my wife we're going to do a shot. Going in and out. Phil, what's going on? Is your video not the... working? Give me, give me some of that. Well, Chris. hang on a second. Okay, how about now? Yep. Oh, there we go. Matt, is this a plant-based eggnog? I'm... Yeah, this is a California almond. Oh, good. Nog. There he is. Yeah, I'm in my uh, garage. The Wi-Fi is not the best. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so this... Thank uh -oh. you. Whoa, baby! Uh, this the zip. The, I know, this is the first time I've ever had eggnog. I don't know about you guys. Ugh, Do you all is, drink eggnog? This is actually bad. Because they're is not it? making is it. Is it supposed walnuts. to be bad? Well, no. I, I mean, some, uh, we're going plant based because I I don't like to drink a lot of you know milk. I need some brandy or something to wash this down. But, but uh, this is not good, right, Vic? It's very watery. It's very, well, it's yeah. very it's very yeah. thin. Yeah. It's, I like, like it. I like the texture of a little thick little. eggnog. It, it feels you know that feeling on the it's, tongue. It's almost like it's missing the egg. A bit. Well, how's your eggnog there? How are those rotten eggs? Uh, so I'm, I guess I'm like a quarter. I'm like a quarter down. I had to go to the bathroom a couple times take <laughs> take a break, but uh, uh, I'm working it down. It's uh, my it's so it's, a, it's a sour. Uh, I found some more of these guys here uh, around the house. And I uh, kind of filled up the, you know, the, I got my gallon here. How close do you live to like a 7-Eleven where you can go get some eggs or something? Like, uh, <laughs> you know? Well, I don't, I don't have used to a car. And my wife uh, is kind of like sequestered me here. Uh, I guess whenever I'm on these type of shows, she just kind of keeps me away and keeps the, me away from the Christmas tree. <laughs> what other shows? What other shows? And. Um, I don't know. Why is just, your face you know. cut off, Phil? Are there beaks in that eggnog <laughs> oh. from the baby <laughs> uh, birds? No, no. These are uh, these uh, these were abandoned birds. They were left by the mother like a few months ago. So but that's how why. How far along were they in their development? Because you could be finding beaks, <laughs> or, yeah, uh, bones, little bird yeah. bones. Uh, little there, feathers. I mean, you can see there's. I mean, there's still yolks in them. So I mean, they're they're pretty underdeveloped ready to eat <laughs> except they don't they they're they're tart what super tart, tart. they're super tart <laughs> tart <laughs> uh, that's not a good dis that's not a good descriptor for eggs no but i'm gonna, <laughs> no. I'm gonna do it i'm gonna beat you guys i'm gonna drink this all right well i'm gonna drink it down I'm the gonna premise of this guys. is flawed is we don't even have a gallon amongst us <laughs> yeah so. what we the whole huh? idea was we were all gonna drink a gallon what are you guys doing then? Yeah, we're drinking a gallon. You <laughs> join us, Phil. You got it here. I guess what I okay. This isn't a gallon. Is it? Yeah, it could be. No, this is a half a gallon. Forty ounces. Looks like a bowling 40. pin. That's true. It does look like a bowling <laughs> pin. All right, did Phil. City of the day yet or what? Yeah, we did. I missed, I missed a bunch it of the Wellington. Shows, Wellington. 
Oh, Phil, uh, do, you, not? do you want to tee up your Mr. Cole video for later? Oh, you're about to see a pretty fantastic uh, video that Matt just gave away, the, the uh, secret of oh, it. But, shit. Uh, uh, I have to say something. Uh, be... I have to interrupt some uh, with some news here. Yeah. There's a lot of people on Zoom, more than usual. Very popular show. Well, thank you. The night a lot of people out there. Maybe Nighttime show. Sunday night. Should we start doing the fucking mm -hmm. show at night? Sure. Sunday night. Maybe Sunday. <laughs> well, well, we're we're the out about yeah, yeah. we should special. go up against the, the Simpsons. Simpsons. In the wonderful well, world of Disney. Yeah. <laughs> it's because the word's gotten out on the Christmas special that y'all are about to release uh, or tease or whatever debut. We've got a little clip that we're going to show. It's going to be a Christmas special every single year. We're bringing back Mr. Cole. We've uh, we brought in the, the Rankin Bass estate. And uh, the Russian government is kind of uh, in in, you know, working together on this and we've put together something I think you guys are going to be excited about. All right. Well, that's coming what later in the That'll show? That'll be the what? halftime. Yeah, we'll play that. Okay. Yeah. About 10 Copy that. Now, Mr. Hamburger, you have a busy night. Yeah. What's, what's on the schedule? <laughs> well, I, I was talking to these guys at the uh, Chevron station complaining <laughs> about the painting over this, uh, I guess these nose, uh, snot or whatever you want to call it, and I was complaining about it, and the guy offered me money uh, to repaint the station. Oh. And so I got a couple of folks together, and we're uh, getting $400 to do this tonight. Amongst so. the, th the three of you? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I got some uh, very good paint. And so you're going gonna... to scrape off the yeah. snot? Yeah, Okay. And well, then we're going to paint it. Do we want to do the I'll, Christmas I'll, I'll song now? I'll send photos to you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Matt, what if somebody just puts a new booger on there tomorrow? Well, that would be okay. I mean, it wouldn't be okay. It wouldn't be ideal. But the problem with this one was that they painted over these boogers. I kind of like that. I don't like so, the... First of all, I got some notes on the show already. I don't like boom, boom. <laughs> and I don't like the word boogers. Well, I tried to avoid using it yeah. as saying other I'm things. I'm surprised at I, you, I, honestly. There's just, there's no other, there's no <laughs> uh, technical... When the boogers are under what the paint, is the, it's what is this? I want a doctor to try and what is the scientific medical term for the mucus in your nose that, that, that we solidifies. Common, that solidifies Spot that people call solid boogers. Solid nose waste. You're not looking in Grey's Anatomy and seeing the word boogers, right? No. 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 <laughs> when the boogers in the paint, it's like Han Solo in Star Wars where he's frozen in time. Cool That's reference. a nice way of looking at it. <laughs> See, that's why I think it's cool. That's a cool reference. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you have a special Christmas song for I you? was going to do a song, and then I was hoping uh, that Vic would get out the guitar and do his version of Mike Love's uh, Reason oh, yes. for the we, Season. We can, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Do that. I'm trying to get that this thicker. It doesn't sound like a yes. I'm trying to get this thicker here. Um, so where I think what you were driving at was let's get... But we need a second to set up Neil's camera, so you want to check back in with Alan while we, while we get... Um, uh, sure. Sure. Neil's camera set up and maybe or, some other you know, zoomers. Listen, it's about the zoomers, so let's talk to a zoomer, too. Yeah, I, Alan has some wild stuff going on, bro. Okay, then you you direct the show. You well, tell me what to do. <laughs> just, Alan, can you just say hi real quick? Hey, why do, why doesn't Tim ever, why doesn't Tim want to talk to me? I do. I, what happened, by the way? What what am I looking at here? I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Santa Claus for Christmas. So I have a, a funny uh, Christmas hat. Ugh. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see, for me to see. And I'm red like Santa. And I have my Christmas gift. What is I on your Christmas body, gift. though? I don't get what's He's, on your this body. Is third to, sure. third degree burns. Yeah, you look like you're in a big bad <laughs> fire. No, this is you're using this Clorox is bleach for bubble bath, and that's going <laughs> to burn your body like that. No, the, no, this is the Santa. Santa wears a red shirt. When he's and he has bleeding. a red cap and a white beard and a button nose. But button bleach. Okay. Bubble bleach. Well, I do want to talk to you, Alan. I'm sorry you got that impression that I didn't. I'm just, I'm trying, I'm juggling a lot of balls here, as you can imagine. Uh, and I'm just concerned that whatever you're putting on your body doesn't look safe or healthy. This is just no. Christmas colors. Okay. <laughs> and I have, and I have my, I was going to open up my, I'm half Jewish, so I was going to open up half my Christmas gifts Okay, now. let's see what's in the Christmas uh, gift there, and then we'll. It's, it's just Epsom salt. Oh, perfect. Oh. I mean, that's, that's better good, than Clorox. That's good yeah. for a bath. 
Well, don't mix that with the bleach. That creates a toxic <laughs> fume. It and also then you're going like to start to actually melt, and then you'll go down the drain as you melt. Yeah, I don't think you want to be willy-nilly about Epsom salt either no, on, on no, your body. No. I think you want to just be careful. Why? What's no ammonia Epsom either. Epsom Please don't bath. put ammonia in no. the bath. Well, that's that's nice. Who got that for you? Jeffrey Epsom salt? Oh, wait, what's this now? What's this? Ooh, yeah. The tag is from... Is, these, these are all from me. This is a gun. Uh, I think it's a gun. Yeah, it looks like a gun. Oh. This is like a boy like a, toy That's, that's a boomerang. Me. It's a toy yes, gun? It, it was oh. a gun. Um. Oh, this one is not. This one's from me. We're going to get uh, pulled off YouTube, I think, from... Uh, from you get presents for yourself? I do Christmas for myself. I think, yeah. <laughs> these are... Oh, look what I got, Tim. Blueberries? Whoa. Blueberries. I got blueberries because <laughs> every year I eat the number of blueberries that there's been years since the birth of Christ. So I'm going to eat this year. I'm going to eat 2023 blueberries, and I'm going to start <laughs> my tradition now. Okay. Well, maybe start in January. But um. mm -hmm. okay. So you <laughs> are in the bath, dressed as Santa with some kind of paint, and have given yourself the gift of blueberries. Am I getting all that? Yes. That's right, and I have I have a gift from my mom. Oh, okay. Let's see that, and then we do have to get to uh, Mr. Hamburger. Soon. Tickets. Oh, those are. Oh, don't get those wet. And I have one very big gift from me. Okay. Can <laughs> I open that? This yeah. Is the last yeah, gift sure. I, yeah. I can't Christmas. wait to see this. Actually, why don't we do this? Why don't we hold that big gift until after the the break, after the song? Can you do okay. that? Okay. Because I'm excited to find good. out. Cool. Be a nice I, I I know what that gift is. That's the size of a box of the Arm and Hammer uh, litter, 20 pound box. <laughs> for dumps, first cat litter. Cat yeah, litter. but he can dump it in the bathtub. It'll absorb all the Clorox and things, and then he'll be sitting in a dry bath, and it'll be much better for his skin. Okay. Um, right. we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, now to celebrate the great uh, this great tradition of holiday music, we have an uh, original song. Yeah, yeah, we're trying trying something here. An original. This is hopefully soon to become a standard. Come on. Well, let's get Sirius XM's holiday classics. I mean, this listening. Jingle Bell Rock is tiring people out. Oh, that's another one on my list. All right. So queuing up the music. Stand by for a very special the world premiere. Yes. World premiere. New Neil Hamburger song. Written by Neil. Any co-writers? Oh, yes. Uh, Eric Paparozzi. Eric Paparozzi. Great talent. Um, whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. I have been your companion, this grubby little discard bear. Once I heard a sweet sound, those two make quite a pair. I was right there beside you while you were lost in your dreams. I absorbed all your teardrops, now I'm coming apart at the seams. Coming apart, I'm coming apart, coming apart at the seams. Coming apart, I'm coming apart, coming apart at the seams. Coming apart at the seams. There's no doubt about it, nothing is going my way, bad things are in my future, the trash man is coming today. Once I provided comfort, sadly it's my turn to cry. I can't produce the teardrops. I seem destined to die. Coming apart, I'm coming apart. Coming apart at the seams. Coming apart, I'm coming apart. Coming apart at the seams. 
coming apart at the seams, coming apart at the seams. Wow. Thanks, fellas. Yeah, that's, that's a sad, sad right, song. Gary should sing that one. There's a Christmas song. Christmas song about a t- sad little teddy bear. Well, I hope the rest of the show goes well for you fellas, and I hope we get that reason for the season cover that Vic's been promising yeah, Vic, all year. You better get on that. I'll learn a little well, let's let's there. have another round of applause for Mr. Neil Hamburger. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, guys, and uh, happy holidays to all of you. Have a great winter break. There you go. Mr. Neil Hamburger, Hamburger. ladies and gentlemen, is making a dramatic exit. I'll catch this dramatic exit. And... <laughs> He's a, there he goes back to the North Pole oh, he's plugged in still yeah. plugged in guys oh boy <laughs> he lives in the North Pole my goodness well we are uh, how did an hour go by so quickly Ooh, what the hell happened I'm liking this nighttime thing I don't like that what the nighttime how quickly that went by that's oh, weird yeah. Some, it's paranormal let's, let's take a call real quick and then we'll take a break uh Let's get to the hotline quick and see what the reaction of the show has been so far from whoever's on the line. Uh, here, Ben Spector. Ben Spector. The in- Inspector, what if, his, what if he was a Inspector Ben Spector? Inspector Ben Spector. <laughs> hey, guys, I thought the show's been great, uh, especially Neil. Especially and I kind of wanted to ask, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go I kind of wanted to ask if you guys had any uh, holiday traditions. Uh, uh, well, um, we uh, exchanged presents on uh, Christmas uh, Day. <laughs> 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 my family and I have been doing it for years. My my mom <laughs> does well. Uh, my family does this thing, Oplotki, which is like a Polish tradition where you like you 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 have these wafers, and then you take a piece of your of uh, someone else's wafer, and then you say something. What, what you wish for them in the future, and then they see something. Oh, that's really that's nice. very nice. Personal, I like that. What you wish for? What What would I wish for you? Happiness, health. Shudder to think what that would be. Happiness, health. <laughs> yeah, you know stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You can be specific, you know. I hope all the trouble you're going through resolves itself. All the thank you. <laughs> My family does these, all the health uh, issues. I know the, that you don't want to talk about. Yeah, and the, the reason just, why he's wearing a, the that. reason he's wearing a wig. To know anything about that. The reason he's wearing a wig. We just hope all that gets yeah, figured out. Figured out. Well, if we had the oplaki bread, then yeah. it would solidify the wish. Is it likely to get resolved? No. 60-40. Yeah. But no. Um, who's on the Zoom here? Is that that guy that was talking to me, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought we had a hotliner yeah. calling in. We I turned the light on. Oh, and I just wanted to say, uh, least favorite Christmas song is that. Yeah, Beatles. Uh, simply not having the Beatles. Oh, I love time. it. It's not the Beatles. It's Paul McCartney. Oh, Paul McCartney, my mistake. A Beetle. Well, I like that song. I think I don't want to hear it all the time. All right, <laughs> let's take a quick break. He should break be called A Beetle. Because, A-Beetle. Matt, is that fair? <laughs> yeah, let's watch um, the, the Phil's video, and then you guys can play a song. Yeah. How about that? Be back in a few. So let's pull up my uh, video player. I don't Brett. love that 12 Days of Christmas. Plus, there is 
suspicious class. A shanker sword is there that's going to sting. It's beginning to look a lot like syphilis. Yes, that's how it seems. Take a look at the dark villains, and you soon begin to sense that it's true. But it's true anyway that it must be social disease. It would be sweet to blame some toilet seat, but it's passed more from he's on to she's. It's true, it's true, if you are bad, then you may get it too. It's beginning to look a lot like syphilis. Indication say that the treatment should start today, and we must not delay. Welcome back to the second half of the show. If you're a Patreon, it's the second of three halves. No, what do you, how would you say that, Doug? Third, second of two halves? Second of two-thirds. We're mm. only two-thirds. We're two-thirds, two yeah. Two-thirds of the show is yet to come. First third of the show is done. Let's check back in with Alan, bath time Alan, because we do want to see. I can't wait to see what he's got. And somebody present. wants to, if somebody also wants to guess the... Uh, the mystery drop from earlier. I know somebody in the chat already has got it, but um, let's <laughs> Thank check. you. Glad to be here. Let's check the let's check in with Alan and see that big, beautiful present. Alan, can you um, give us a check one? Can you hear me? There you go. Oh, and guess what my gift is? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm going to open it. It's from me. Yeah, you got Well, I guess you'll know then. I, I don't know what it is. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's PlayStation. Like a, oh, good PlayStation. It's a big PlayStation 5. Oh, wow. That's Could, cool. That's careful. terrific. Yeah, be careful with that. Don't get that wet, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Everything is a little better wet. <laughs> <laughs> so you forgot that you got yourself a PlayStation 5. Yeah. I knew it was something good in that big box, and I have half my presents left to open, but not. I'm going to wait till Christmas. No, oh, that looks like the big one. Do you think you got yourself bigger presents than that? There's a couple bigger boxes. I don't know what's in them, and I can't wait to find out. <laughs> good for you. Now, will you be doing uh, opening your presents in the bath on Christmas? 
I open, I do most of my, th- yes, I will be opening my presents in the bath on Christmas. I'm excited to get, the thing I really want, and I don't know if I got it, I really want a bath bomb. A bath bomb. <laughs> yeah, I really want a bath bomb. Oh, yeah, you should get yourself one. I, I, I mean, they're hard I to know. get, and I've never, I've never been able to get one. I'm not quite sure what they are. But I've always wanted to get myself a very big bath bomb. Mm. Well, do we know what a bath bomb is? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I do. Clear. I do. It's like kind of like a f- foamy, sudsy kind of like detergent, like in a ball form. Detergent. You, you throw it in. Like, yeah, sudsy. Just, yeah, it doesn't actually bomb. It doesn't actually like make an explosion, but it's a nice fizz. And then, Alan, I got to tell you. Sometimes they stick a little uh, prize in the middle of it, like like a little unicorn or something. I didn't want to know. Don't ruin it for me. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, we don't know oh, what the prize it is. Be, it could be just anything. an example. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I hope somebody gets it for me because I know that I didn't get myself one because I didn't even know where well, to go. Well, who knows? Maybe you did. Maybe you forgot. <laughs> What are you, are you going to take a bath on Christmas, Tim? No, no, I don't have a great bath. I generally just shower up in the morning. I don't make a big deal about it. I just take a quick oh. shower and get on my day. Alan, um, how do you know when, you're, when your bath time is over? How do I know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I, usually my bath time is over when I get way too pruney. I drink too much bath water. I start getting too much heartburn, so much heartburn that the Tums can't counteract it. And that's usually my time to get out. I'll dry off. I'll take a cup of water. I'll wait about 30 minutes, and I'll get back right back in. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're in the bath. You're You're really, bath a lot. Really How do you keep water the water water. hot? How do I keep it hot? Yeah. I, I have a, a, a special deal with my landlord where he turns the furnace up extra high, so I always have hot water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, Alan, good luck I, to you. Uh, could I ask real quick about, like, do you, like, put up a Christmas tree and – if you do, is it like near the tub? But also, do you <laughs> do you find it gets extra dirty? Like you need extra bath because there's all this uh, tree gunk in this there. Is my, this is my Christmas tree right here. Oh, okay. just a drawing of one. Okay. The gifts were all underneath the tree. Oh. And then I, I opened them up. And and that's my Christmas. And and I, I don't know how you guys do it in your house. Yeah, we just get it. We get a tree, Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I save money by just drawing it on my tub. Great. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm not <laughs> judging it. I'm just saying that. Just I feel excited. I feel like I'm being judged. I feel like people are trying to look at my body and see what's underneath all the bubbles. No, we're not. And it is making me just, uncomfortable. So. I'm sorry. Did you hear that? Sorry, Alan. There's something. I just heard something on the roof. Somebody's here. Wait a minute. Somebody trying to get it. <laughs> Somebody's you hear banging that? pretty hard. You should let them in. It's not one of those gripers, is it? Oh, oh my God. Oh. It's the man himself. Oh. It's the man himself. Hello, Look at this. Oh, my God. Hello. Santa Claus himself is here. <laughs> Hello, Tim. Hello, Doug. Hello, Vic. Hi, Santa. Wow. What? I, it's not even Christmas. What a treat to have you come join us. Yes, it's more of a PR thing. Okay. What does that mean? You know, before Christmas, you know, the work's really done. and You're waiting for the day to happen. And uh, then I just, you get out, you try to get people excited about it. Now, I wrote this song that I played earlier in the show. You probably wouldn't see because you're probably flying all over the place. Uh, I thought this would be an interesting subject of a song is, does Santa get a little resentful after all these years buying everybody presents? You ever feel like you want to get something back from? People? Oh yeah, it's a nightmare. <laughs> oh really? And that's I can't escape it. I'm an eternal <laughs> character. I don't age, <laughs> and it's just a nightmare. It's a workload. Yeah, it seems tough. You know how hard it is to get all this shit? <laughs> Easy, you know. <laughs> you know the shipping and everything. Yeah. So you're the supply taking... chain. How do you? You don't think you think you know those owls are not making PlayStation? I'm sorry to. Sorry to burst your bubble. Yeah, that's a myth. You, there's a myth out there that children have, and I'm sorry if kids are watching this, because we're going to spoil some shit right now. That there's well, a myth that the elves are up there going, dink, 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 making all these toys. A lot of it. And as much as I can, because that's where I really, you know, save money. But, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look the thing windy. for me about Christmas is it really comes down to people don't really, you know, there's the religious part of it, and, you know, whatever, I'm allowed to exist too, and uh, I think it's, what people overlook is it's really Judgment Day. Oh, yes, because it's about whether these kids have been good or bad. That's right. Um, and you don't know what's going to happen until that morning when you wake up. Well, that's the... And the, I'm going to tell you 
the kind of person you are. Are you a good person or are you bad? Well, and who, I guess my question who to are that you to is, judge? who are you to judge? So it's a, hell, it's a hell of a day for the bads. Sure. Yeah. But my question to you is, who are you to judge? The question yeah. Doug asked, but I think it's a fair question, is who are you to judge? I, I you know, I, I'm sort of adjacent to Jesus. I, you know, I didn't ask for this position. <laughs> It's interesting. Just, you 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 feel burdened by this role in life, but it is who you are. It's a lot of spying. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of spying. Right. So it's like so, these, you know, you guys. I, I, the main thing I wanted to come here and just say how much I love you guys and how I you're such good people. Oh, that's nice. You know, you Aww. tell me What's your name again. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Matt. Yeah. Matt, of course. <laughs> Vic. Doug. Outstanding people. What's the nastiest thing you saw when you were spying on people this year? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, I didn't, you know, you notice I, I named each of you. Uh, someone else is on the piece of shit list. Oh, oh you didn't yeah. look, you're, look, you're, looking at, you're looking at me. Yeah. What the yeah. hell did You I know do? what you did. I Don't even. You know what you did, because I saw it. <laughs> I've been watching. Everything? You are a piece of shit. Well. <laughs> Your, Maybe I am. Your I wife's don't know. best friend. Your oh. wife's best yeah, friend. Oh. Let's not. We don't want to go there. Okay. All right. So moving on. Anyway, you guys yeah, are got some great stuff coming. Yeah, you crossed the line. And you Klaus. got a train full of coal coming <laughs> your well, way, my fine, friend. Well, fine. Bring it on, Claus. <laughs> You're gonna be stained with coal dust. Well, all bring it your on, face Klaus. and hands. <laughs> yeah. Your house is gonna be ruined from he the coal. He doesn't know what he's talking about, by the way. He's got he, he, he's got his signals crossed up there at the north. If you're a good, it's a great day. If you're a bad, look out. Well, listen. Maybe I can make this right. My daughter is obsessed with Santa and Christmas. Yeah. And there's nothing I can do to change what I did. Okay. There's nothing. Uh, I can yeah. Do. <laughs> I've been but, watching her too. I know. Huh? I know. Yeah. Okay. I watch them all. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> would it trouble you too much to spend a few minutes with my daughter so she could tell you what she wants for Christmas? I know it's late in the year. All right, all right. You know, fine. I What's don't know why I'm doing done. this because you seem We've like... already built everything. It's just I'm on the PR tour, but I'll, yeah. Hey, is come she on here? In. Millie Dilly is here. Millie hey. Dilly, it's been a while. Hello, Where's Millie. You? Hello. How are you? Now, do we have a mic for her? Do we, because we, we want to hear her. They she, can share, maybe. Hold on a sec. Uh, no, can you? Why, why don't up? you uh, sit on Santa's lap oh, or something? Shit. <laughs> this is that. That is a non-working bell. Okay. Yeah, can you get a bell sound, please? I can't. Hold on. Uh, let's wait, get here a, we go. Right, we're getting a mic for Millie. Vic brought her his Let's own mic now. today, so we should have plenty. <laughs> Unless you want to do the old, <laughs> hang on now. Now, can you? Would you also take Zoomer qu uh, request from from for Santa Claus? I think oh sure. Yeah. Tell you right. Taco Bell. Yeah. Hold on a anybody. minute now. Hold on. Look at this. I'll talk to anybody. Where were you? T where were you today, Amelia? Where were you today? She got to turn that mic on. He's like got to activate the mic. I to say to all my friends in America. Try it again. Were you at a play? You said. Yeah, I was at a play. Oh, there we go. Musical. Musical. Can we can, can we take a guess what you saw? And yeah. the winner. Rent. <laughs> you want to take a guess, Santa? Mm, Phantom of the Opera. What? <laughs> can I guess? Yeah. Was it Annie? Yes. Okay. Right. I should have looked at the right. shirt. All right, now this is your one chance. I want you to tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Okay. Okay, now listen here, Santa. You better give me what I want, or else you're in big trouble. Okay. Okay, so I would like a phone, an iPad, a computer, <laughs> oh another phone, a Nintendo. Uh, another let's phone. see, what else is on my list? A Too gumball phone. machine. Um, cotton candy machine. A <laughs> you see, load of candy. This is why I call it Judgment Day, because I didn't have the threat of bringing you coal. Kids like this would assume they could just have whatever they wanted, no matter how their behavior was. This is a disgrace, Tim. 
This child is a disgrace. What? It's what she wants. It's what she wants. What am I supposed to do? It goes with your, with whether you're good. I'm sorry well, to say. Well, let me just say, if she doesn't cl close your ears. If she's looped in there, whether he's good? If she doesn't get what she wants, she's going to be very upset. And I can't have that. <laughs> she's going to be very upset. All right. So all right. Trickle fine. down <laughs> economics or something? Or I'll what? work on all of those things, Millie Dilly. <laughs> And Millie should get whatever she wants because she's my little sweetheart. Yeah. And she deserves everything. All the toys and treats. And Santa, you everything. do what I ask. That's I right. want everything. I'll do what I can. There's a lot of starving people in the world that don't What's the number one thing anything. you want? If you had to only have one thing, what is mm, it? Everything. All right. I'll do my best. You know, what can I say? <laughs> it's a little late. Christmas is just... A so you want a phone? Now. Another phone, Two an phones. iPad, a Nintendo, a computer, all the electronics, and a gumball machine, a candy machine, everything. Cool. For me. Okay. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Any, anything you want to say to Santa that besides what you want, maybe? Give me it. All right. You're scaring <laughs> me now, kid. All right. Don't be awake when I come by. Mel, you want a little eggnog? No. I don't like Kids eggnog. Kids don't like it. Kids are smart now. They don't like eggnog. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Bye. All right. Get upstairs. Clean Bye your room. Forever. It was nice to meet Bye -bye. you, Millie. Say goodbye to the office hours Bye, uh, audience. Bye-bye. Bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she wants that stuff. Ding, 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 ding alert. Hey, ding, dong, boy. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I got to pull that up when we toast him every time. <laughs> All right, let's take a Zoomer who has questions for Santa. That's interesting to get that perspective from you. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> kind, of dis kind of disappointing, but. Lauren, are you there? Can you unmute? Lauren, hello. Lauren. Lauren, can you unmute? I can't hear you. <laughs> Lauren's been DMing me all day. There's somebody on here identifying as wow. Anthony Scaramucci. Wow. Did you had to talk to Anthony Scaramucci. Remember him? <laughs> Maybe the real one. <laughs> Is it? Scaramucci. <laughs> Where's Scaramucci? Yeah, let's talk to the Mooch. Right, Maybe he'll on page do the four. Fandango. <laughs> Scaramucci. <laughs> Scaramucci. <laughs> huh? Anthony? How's it going, boys? Hey, Mr. Anthony Scaramucci, he was the, if I'm, correct, if I'm correct about this, he was the uh, press secretary or the director of communications. All-time record holder, Very baby, 11 days. 11, 11 days. I know what it is. He went mental on the New Yorker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What do you I have? I was mental before I got to the New Yorker. What do you have uh, for Mr. Claus here? Uh, nothing. Great. All right, uh, next I'm call. I'm assuming he's got something for me. Oh. Oh, yeah. How's you know everything? How's has Anthony Scaramucci been doing this year? I think I think my record has improved. I think Santa will agree. Cool. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's true. Fair this. enough. Let's fire, let's rapid fire it, and we'll get people. And and uh, Santa's going to be telling us coal or not coal. He's not going to give away what you're getting. <laughs> Keep that secret. It's not clean coal either. It's <laughs> no. it's the black stuff. Yeah, it's all over. Thank your you hands. for the time, fellas. Lovely to be on. Great. All thank the you, best, Anthony. Mooch. Thank you. Hey, listen, I don't agree with everything you did or anything, but thank you for your service in government. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin and Diana. It's often a thankless job. Hello. Hey, guys. All Hello. Right. Uh, there they are. I have a question. I have a question for the whole group, but uh, Santa is welcome to chime in. I have to start with a little uh, anecdote, but the other day in the work cafeteria, crowded cafeteria, I'm eating a nacho chip, and I started choking. I started freaking out, but I'm like, someone has to give me the Heimlich. Like my reputation is toast here. So uh, I go over to the bathroom and eventually I'm able to like pop the chip up. But I told Diana after the fact, and she was a little upset because her reputation would be even worse if I had actually like died in the bathroom with nobody knowing. So I wanted to see if you guys, if you're in this position, would you want to get the Heimlich in the middle of a crowded cafeteria or would you rather die to cough up? If, without anyone seeing, I'll go first. Uh, of course, immediately request Heimlich. 
Yeah, I have no yeah, shame about that. You don't gamble that. with your life. Your pride is not more important than your life. Yeah. Also, you could be kind of famous at the workplace yeah. after that. You're the guy who survived the nacho chip. They're going to up. And like, you know, you're like yeah. going to be the success yeah. story of the company. Like he, We almost watched someone die, but he survived the nacho chip. We Remember yeah. that day? Yeah, I, I, I failed to see the dilemma here. It's an it's a easy one. Request help if you're in distress. Cole. Cole. <laughs> I knew it. The bar is high. <laughs> I want to be the one to give the Heimlich. I want to save a life sometime. You know? Aren't you so? Yeah, that'd Aren't be you? fun. Now, Santa, you're eternal. Make sure you make sure the person wants it. <laughs> oh, you, can you yeah, be arrested for check. like, you know, uh, inappropriate touching if you're trying to save someone's life? If they're not dying. Yeah, maybe if they're not choking and you make a mistake, just oh. <laughs> Well, let me just say, and Santa, you're eternal, so this isn't an issue you have to deal with. But I'm, I'm terrified of dying, especially in those kind of ways. What if I'm eating a chip and I die? Mm. That happens all the time, Vic. It does. I know. Uh, Tennessee Williams apparently was uh, obsessed with the fact that he would choke to death. That's what he just he was had this paranoia about it. Guess how he died? Choked to death. He choked to death on the top of a pill bottle. Get went, trying to get wow. the pills in. Oh my Popped God. off the top of it and went, oh. What and there's the? nobody around. I like to be. I like. I like to be alone sometimes. But the, I don't want to be alone either. Because what, what if that happens to me? I need some. I need Vic there. You need a metal alert. No, you slam metal your. Alert, need a metal alert. You slam your belly into this thing. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. There is a way to yeah. do. You, yeah, you yeah, can, can get the hammer yourself. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You can. It's true. Yeah, you can. You have to run mm -hmm. into like a solid. This is this ain't gonna work. These but you know, there's another way to do it for babies too. That's a whole other thing. Fuck. Oh yo, yeah, yeah. But are you yeah. are you gonna be I, of sound mind enough to do that? I've if given you're the, I've given the Heimlich. I, I, you did? I, yeah, I did it. And to uh, who? Uh, an old old coworker. I was like eating a ham sandwich kind of. thing. It's like this situation. Yeah, yeah. Gotta watch that gristle. Yeah, yeah. Gotta hold on to a <laughs> chunk and. But a big thing is. Like to just go in the first thing is scoop. Like mm. go in oh, and like try to get it out yourself <laughs> for real. And like and like you know unplug it. That's usually works. No, I'm going straight for the pump. Yeah, you want. It. I mean, you want the pump. <laughs> You've been training for that for yeah. years. You're getting, you're getting I go to this chance. gym where yeah. these these dummies and you get to. That's the yeah, workout. Yeah. Uh, but you guys are acting like that's the only way you're going to die is by choking. There's a million no, other ways. Million Heart other attack, ways. stroke. You can't think. You know, about you, that. You, you're yeah. driving down the freeway and someone cl clips you. You're dead. It could Vic. happen. It's going to happen on mm. Christmas Day. Yeah. Forgot something I wanted to share with you guys. I'll be right back. Just right outside the He's door here. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming back. He's not coming back. Oh, he is. He's out. Okay. Um. Oh, I got a. You have a my, surprise. I have a. Yeah, my. Uh, oh, there New it Year's is. Look at this. We oh, buried wow. How did you get? How did you get your hands on that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I say, I say, yeah. I say, I say, I say. No. Where'd you get a bottle of that? What I have here is a bottle of sweet berry wine from Las Haras. From Las Haras Vintners. Now, who's on the front of that? Doctor Stephen Brule. D uh, He's been a very good boy this year. <laughs> oh, holy Santa! Um, now, now, I recommend everyone. It's a great stocking stuffer, and it's. <laughs> It's actually very good wine, so uh, get yourself some. Well, sweet can we have that wine. bottle? That means that you're not. We can open it right now. Yeah. We can taste test, and you can tell me is I it would good love or that. not. Matt, do we have a bottle opener? I'm looking. He's looking in a random area, <laughs> not known for bottle openers, but we'll get. What <laughs> started as a, uh, you know, a segment on Stephen Brule's broadcast has become a very good wine. There should be some out, one out there. It is a very good wine. I commend and applaud my partner Eric on his wine business. If he's listening or watching, I must ask why. But um, I'd like to say to all my friends in America, stop uh, with that, John. Now, Vic apparently, Santa, Vic has a uh, a surprise. Oh yeah, I have a special uh, surprise that's related to my uh, New Year's resolution. Um, so you got uh. 
Matt has some uh, visuals for me. Yeah, I'm not right. part of New Year's. Ready when you are, my friend. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll just translate because you're not on mic. Santa doesn't mess with New Year's resolutions. That's, <laughs> That's not okay. his department. I'm done. That's Father Time. December 26th, I'm done. That's like Father Time bullshit. Yeah. Or, all right, what's the surprise? I don't know anything about this. So um, this year, you know, I, I've been really, like, every, people know I'm hot for tots. I like the, the tater tots. And <laughs> I've been looking for, like, a healthier alternative, a way to cook them better. And the other day, I, uh, it was breakfast time, and my wife had the waffle maker out. Okay. And I thought instantly, like, there's a way to make tater tots that no one has done it before. So I invented a new way to make tater tots. We're not doing... Oh, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna do... So... Right here, we have a visual. Start with the other one. So this is all you have to do. You take, it doesn't require any extra oil or butter or anything like that. All you do is shove them in the waffle maker, turn it on, flip it, and then look what it looks like at the end. Real crispy. Oh, is that a cheers? It's wine for you. Oh, oh, thanks. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know my blood shed for you. Oh, tater tot waffles? Yeah, so, so you cook it up real nice, real crispy. And then it just breaks apart. It's gluten free too. Yeah, not, not yeah. for you. It's just break it apart. You can eat it like a triangle. It's we have another cup. amazing. I love that, Vic. But that's not the biggest. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention well, to any of that. That's but, okay. Uh, but I'll I'll watch the hopefully, show people later at home are learning out. something new. So next year, I'm going to do nicer things for people. So I want to do. I just like want to show my gratitude to everybody. Love everybody here. So I want to do more. Um, so I. I worked with, uh, had the opportunity to collaborate with uh, Sir Anthony, and uh, he's uh, he's just done a great work on what what we put together. Um, big collaboration. He's as you know, he's a songwriter, hit songwriter. Is this uh, somebody in the chat is clarifying? Is this Sir Anthony Hopkins? No, this is no, no, this no. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, I like this to. Is nice. you know, this is nice. We don't. We lo- We no longer cheers. have uh, the uh, just king a of pop. Just a quick cheers. If yeah, yeah if you don't mind. We're trying yeah, to toast for your wine. For your wine. Happy Eric. holidays, everybody. Eric would. Don't be, drink uh, too much of this stuff, mm. Santa. Eric would be this upset. Guy. Nice. Drinking out of these red cups, drink though. These by the way, a lot before Santa. Yeah. This is not cool to be drinking yeah. out of these. You can't see the legs cups. on the side. It's You kind of. It'll be fine. Can you kind of inside a little bit? I'm just. The legs get caught in the ridges. All right, so, so, so anyway, Sir Anthony. So yeah, so Sir Anthony, he's a hit songwriter. Like he wrote "Pray," and um, there's a few other like P R A Y, and um, he's uh-huh. just been doing with, great work. You know everybody, but you and, must um, you oh, know yeah. Sir Anthony. No, you know him. As soon as you see him, uh, you'll know. So I I uh, talked no. to him, and and he agreed for um, a certain price to write a song well. about um, <laughs> office hours uh, for me. But it, but it's a collaboration, and it's something that I think you guys would be into, and. Why does uh, Snoop Dogg always carry an umbrella? For the drizzle. Mm. There you go. Wow. What kind of car does a Snoop Dogg drive? <laughs> Fiat. Is that Fiat. His, Fiat. Is that his anyway. catchphrase? Are you gonna, are you gonna let, Look, Vic is setting Vic up an incredible video. Sir Anthony be, video yeah. here. Anything so this else is great to Sir set Anthony. this up? So this and, you know, people, people think yeah. that, Tim, when, when, we, when first, uh, Sir Anthony was first discovered, people will be like, Look at this like bizarro version of Tim. Mm-hmm. There's uh, something there. Uh-oh. 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 Let's I'm roll the gauntlet yeah, yeah, like, down. You know, he's like, you know, the king of pop show, is in here. He's right, the Brett, knight you ready for of the video pop. here? There you go. Here we go. Let's start that again. Let's start there. <laughs> Let me see that smile on your face. Oh, yeah. I remember this guy. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. You survived another day. Funky. Cause everybody happy, 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 happy. Good times are coming your way. It's like a blues song. Oh, yeah. Blues song. It took a sound of life. And I've been good drives. Hang on, it's gonna be your wild ride. Whoa. You think this looks like me? 
I didn't say it. People have some people have said it. Like a character you do it. It was in Glendale, I see. Yeah. Where did you get that Glendale yeah, footage? Oh, you got that? I had my way. He's got his way. <laughs> Funky Jam. Yeah. Oh, so intense. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's not done. Oh, no, it, it is, is done. Yeah. It'll be done one way or the other. Thank you, Vic. Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. I love that. You're That's welcome. incredible. Thank you. Yeah, that was sure. incredible. That song was shorter than the setup. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have something too to share if you want. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys are in the middle of something else, but no, no. Oh, this would be interesting. I know what you're doing. Uh, this would be just interesting to get Santa's comments. Yeah, on I think does Santa have? Would he be able to see my visuals here? He doesn't have a... Yeah, it should come up on there. My, oh, he's... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there. Oh, he does yeah. have a screen there. Okay. We just watched the goddamn music video. <laughs> I didn't know how you saw it. I wasn't seeing where... He's You're blocking can see the screen. Everything. I'm Look. watching. I'm watching you. Okay. I don't think that's the real watching Santa. Watching your thoughts. What, you know, I, I'm not sure if this is the real Santa or not, but... Ooh, controversy. I was doing some research, okay? Yep. I was checking out different Reddits and 8chan and stuff, and people were saying... <laughs> Okay. This idyllic of San, uh, idyllic uh, image of what Santa's workshop is like. It's not really what it's like, you know. Um, I got a deadline to meet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I I found out some stuff that the mainstream media doesn't want you to know about mm. about Santa's mm. workshop. Warning: If you have any kids watching now, we recommend you escort them out of the room. That's because this is not nice. Of the show. Okay. Go to talk turkey, huh? <laughs> First all of all, right. Santa... You want to know how the sausage is made, huh? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I found it out, okay? The jig is up. First of all, Santa eats reindeer bile soup. It all... Can we get that image? That first... That next... Slide? There yeah. it is. Santa eats reindeer bile soup. It also contains reindeer urine and reindeer adrenochrome. Mm -hmm. He says it gives him youth and strength. True or false? That's how he lives so, this long. It's because he's eating the reindeer adrenochrome. Okay. We eat reindeer from the nose to the tail, my friend. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> when he's done bit. with his reindeer, he discards them and leaves their remains strewn about his property. That, that is not true. He replaces them with fresh reindeer each year. Look at this. Look what he does. Wait now. Can Let's I see the next reindeer carcass pile? There it can is. Can I just can I can I um, do something for a sec? Yeah. Pause. We're gonna re reinvent this bit slightly. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's gonna work beautifully. Trust okay. me. What we're gonna do is we've connected Santa Claus to a lie detector. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Vic, you have control over the lie detector. Mm. So if it's tr if he's lying, it gets a buzz. If he's telling the truth, it gets a ding. Okay. Okay. Now you got we a buzz and a ding. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to... Okay. <laughs> now I'm really under pressure. Yeah. Are we still on this one or the next one? Oh, we'll go to the next one. But, uh, you know, everyone's pissed off about P-22, but not a peep about Santa's reindeers. The conditions are horrible for these poor creatures. All year he keeps them in these filthy pens and he feeds them a disgusting mash of elf carcasses. Is that true? What do you think? To, is that true? No, it's absolutely not true. Much cheaper things to feed them than elf. Oh, so okay, that's not true. Uh, I mean, listen, you're you just said you're looking this shit up. I mean, Reddit. the pens. This is, this is yes, what I looked. This is what I found out. Are the pens real? Yes, the pens. Are hey, they look. filthy? <laughs> well, the reindeer is a filthy animal, my friend. Yeah. All right, continue okay. on. But this is the, you're you're questioning the lie detector. <laughs> I question your research. I don't trust that. <laughs> Let's see what else you got here. Why does Santa feed his reindeer elf carcasses? Because they are so inbred from hundreds of years of inbreeding <laughs> that a lot of them don't live too long. And he just feeds them to the reindeer. It's terrible. Those are downer elves. See? The ones that you... Like in a herd. Now, are Certain they... animals are just inbreed, not as strong you, as the rest. Do, have you, you inbred you, your elves are, for hundreds of years and you feed them to the reindeer? Are your reindeer inbred? Uh, the elves are inbred. <laughs> okay, so uh, he's... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's... Look... <laughs> 
we don't, you know, there's only so many people up there, and yeah. the elves eventually they start to have relations with each other, elves. and I can't elves. control, I can't co <laughs> control 300 elves roving around at night. Yeah, and they're adult elves; they yeah. do what they want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what, what next? Okay, Stan has got a couple of these demented chefs that he, uh, he cooks up the elf mash with. Look at these guys. Mm. Let's see the next one. Are those? Mm. Do you have, are these your chefs, Stan? Yeah, that's Vasily. Okay, that's true. A lot of my research is correct, and so I'm getting far, it from the so source. Good. Well, you have so certain so sensational good. aspects to it. Yeah. Who shovels the reindeer crap? Santa hires local needy elderly folks. He only pays five cents per pound. <laughs> well, is that correct? Yes, uh, but that person is just my father. He's not <laughs> a needy townsperson. I don't know. He doesn't look too happy about his job he's got. There. Yes, that is that is true. Okay. <laughs> as far as elves making all the toys, no one is making the toys. He gets these. He gets those same needy elderly people to find toys in dumpsters and st or steal them for him. Aww, then he that, pays them with the free cookies and milky hordes from generous children. That would be sad mm. if that was true. You know, shit gets real. That's all I can say. I'm going to say that. You have as many presents to deliver as I do. You got to do what you got to do. Wayfair starts looking pretty good, my friend. Yeah. He's verifying my information right it's now. It's true. He's, this is shocking. You might be asking, why is Santa like this? Why does he allow this to happen? Well, he has this doctor that injects bleach and other substances right into his brain. Mm -hmm. Through his <laughs> ear. Yeah, this guy, Dr. Hot's Pretzel, is a real sicko. <laughs> He's the one pulling the strings. Santa's workshop makes Foxconn look like Comic-Con. Anyway, Santa is sick, but it's all Dr. Pretzel's fault. Dr. Pretzel? Dr. Pretzel, there he is. Is there a Dr. Pretzel? <laughs> That's my son, David. Don't blame Santa. <laughs> he has a drinking problem. <laughs> Don't blame Santa, but he needs help. Is that Dr. Pretzel? That's Dr. Pretzel's no, fault. No, that's not Dr. Pretzel. Is he telling the truth? Oh, uh, he's not telling that's the truth. my son, David. <laughs> You're lying. You're does, lying. Does your son... That's Dr. Pretzel. He's... Yeah, thank you. I was right. <laughs> my research was correct. All right, fine. All right, well, that's... That's all I could. That's all I could find. Right. Me, but I'm not afraid to dig into this more, and I'll be search. I'll be, I'll still be looking into this. Because let's let's check in with uh, Phil Braun and his eggnog challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Phil? He's coming in. Hello. He'll be on the screen. Hey, what's going on, Phil? Phil, I don't know if you 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 were flying around. You don't see this, but uh, Phil was making eggnog at home from scratch you didn't have eggs so he found a nest of birds eggs in his tree and has been wow we, we did not recommend that we he looks like that, that picture idea. of santa that i that first slide <laughs> look at it all of your uh, satellite guests are like into food fetish kind of <laughs> I know. messy I got a, messy I got sexy a, messes where is he i got a bone <laughs> to pick with santa claus all right what is it now doug did they doug, just rake me over the that. coals here about my business practices <laughs> Doug, I want you to play that sinister music. Sinister music he's requesting. Or Vic. Vic was playing it. that. I wish I could see the damn guy. He's right here. I, I don't have him on my monitor for whatever reason. Okay. There he is. Thank Santa you. Claus. Yeah. You've been talking shit about coal mm. for years and years. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've got a spec script that got picked up by a CBS okay. about Mr. Cole. Oh yeah, yeah. You're you're fucking it up. Well, well Mr. Why? Cole I mean, is good. Cole is I mean clean Cole. Cole is good. It brings heat to people. It brings warmth. Yeah, but it melts. But snow. compare that to a present like a shiny toy or a, a bicycle or something. The kids want the toys. They don't want coal. They want coal. And you're saying it's bad. It's good. It's not bad. It's, it helps people. It gives the miners jobs. It gives the. It keeps the keeps the mines open. Uh, All right. Well, what's he supposed to do? Not what? what like, I, what should I? I know I have considered giving feces to certain people. <laughs> yeah, that would be a step up. That's a level That's up. That's something no one wants. You're getting shit in your stocking. Right. 
Maybe that's I what I'll that give you. I think that would be a better solution. So I, I, I stepped out during reasonable. the break. Did we show the Mr. Cole video? I don't even know what it is. It's, it looks like he had it produced in Russia or something. Yeah, so Mr. Cole is like a he's uh he's like a policeman. He goes around and patrols villages and makes sure they're buying coal for their energy. That's the show and on we, CBS? <laughs> yeah, so we were <laughs> contracted by some person in Russia uh to make this. I agreed kind of without really knowing what it was, but uh and Dan Cups uh helped me with the music. Uh-huh. Uh, this guy Noah Campania helped with the animation. They couldn't look. We couldn't back out of it. We had to make it. How but much it's going to be a beautiful. Yeah, how much, the, uh, how much of this Trump. eggnog have you gone? You seem yeah, your you seem face off. is weeping. And wait, I didn't notice this, but you have eggnog all over your shirt. I, 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 I'm like I, I'm like three quarters uh, down in my uh, brandy and eggnog here. Uh, I'm I don't know how good you guys are doing with your eggnog, but I'm doing good. Well, I feel I feel a little bad about this. I, I don't want to. I now I feel bad. I just yeah. like, we're in a, we're just joking around. We didn't. There's no eggnog challenge, you know. You're actually I, drinking it for yeah. real, Phil. We didn't. Yeah, that was part we of a joke. Playing I, around. I thought we knew. I, I don't think you should I drink feel, a gallon I feel of eggnog. Physically, <laughs> I physically am sick. Yeah. Uh, trying <laughs> to keep up with you guys, and you guys didn't even fucking you didn't even do it. <laughs> I got No man. Read the email. You it's we weren't going to drink actually drink. Yeah, we're not going to drink a gallon of fucking well, you, eggnog, man. I've been drinking a gallon to, uh to win the, the the contest. There's no contest. It was just, you know. I just said in t- on TikTok there's a fucking t- uh eggnog challenge. We're just fooling around. I'm sorry. You should probably go lie yeah. down. You yeah. might have <laughs> nog poisoning. Yeah. Maybe you can make yourself sick to get it out of you. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Don't play that. He's oh, crying. No. He is crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. It'll be that okay, Phil. You'll, you'll be fine. I don't feel sick. Yeah. All right. I, I'm sorry, Phil. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you know what? You won the challenge. How about that? You won, Phil. <laughs> Okay. You got the win- one, the man. winner's music. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Oh, okay. I right, don't drink any more. Okay. You know, you won. <laughs> don't drink any more. You won. I, I won't. All right, I won't you drink any more. Why don't you go and sit on the toilet for a while? <laughs> okay. I'll be, it's I'll all going to flush out of you. No worries. Okay. You have a, uh, do you, ha- you don't have a uh, dairy allergy or anything, do you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Perfect answer from Phil. <laughs> Happy holidays, Phil. You too, guys. It's good to see you all. And... Yeah. We'll see you in the new year, okay? Don't okay, call me. Okay, I love uh, you guys. I'm looking forward okay. to telling you whether you're a good person or a bad oh, person. Oh, let's do that right now. You want to get? You want the good news? I, it could be bad news. I'm good. What is it, Santa? I agree. Hold- you try to be good, Phil, but you are bad. All right, cut, Phil. That's too bad. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He tried, but effort doesn't count. No. You're either good or bad. What, what's the percentage of good to bad? Most children are good. Yeah, yeah, most children are good. <laughs> yeah. Not me. You got dirt on me. All right, let's take a reasonable person here, Matt. Now I'm getting excited. Yes, that'll be relative, but uh, let's yeah. try. Uh, By the way, can I just say that's the chipmunks yeah. in their real voice? See, that's the kind of stuff I uncover. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and chipmunks Santa, are not. Chipmunks. I know how you feel about social media, so you're already on board. You're way ahead of me on this. But I, I'm trying. Like I, every once in a while, I open that goddamn TikTok just to see. And to promote shit and to let people know we got this coming up and I want to, you know. And if if I have a funny idea, I put it up there, whatever. But I see, so I start seeing the things that are going on with this site. Yeah. There's this trend. And maybe I'm getting old. 
but there's this trend, uh, a bunch of videos of these uh, people, and the general, I don't want to show them, you can look them up if you want, but it's like, the, imagine like the most boring suburban living room, people watching the football game on a Sunday afternoon. I kind of like it. I like what you're doing. No. Oh. Or whatever. You're looking at me to tell me music. I'm doing it wrong. Uh, no. Okay. Because it is dark. And so there's like, t let's say there's like some kids, there's like some 20 year olds, and then there's like an older, like generally like an, a grandpa. So there's like a grandpa, right? And they're watching the game and somebody's filming grandpa. I'm totally serious about this. And I uh, hate it, right? That's the key. As I, as I continue. On the TV, they have programmed the TV to play a file which is a nuclear attack announcement. And it feels and looks totally real. The following is, you know, it's like that recorded voice. The following is an emergency announcement. Uh, a, a nuclear attack has been launched against the United States of America. Uh, the seven of the 12 missiles have been intercepted. But nine have not, and in 15 minutes are going to hit New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Dallas, and this video. And they're sh they're showing this video. I sent you this, right? You sent it. Attack. I watched the whole thing, and then the dads are just like, "Huh? Well, they're not. Nobody actually." There's a gets upset. There's, there's tons where people go like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" Well, you know, they're just like, for real. Is that right? This well, in, in Hawaii, it happened. In Hawaii, in Hawaii <laughs> yeah, yeah. People were leaping into sewers yeah. and tripping out. But what kind of prank is this? That's a good prank. <laughs> but it was real in Hawaii. What? You think it's funny? Good stuff. It's good oh. stuff. I think it's sick. It goes back to the old it's Orson, uh, Orson Welles. Same with, you know, like, when people are like, you're not getting any candy to, like, a little yeah. kid. I mean, it's such low-hanging fruit. It's hanging just low-hanging fruit. Like, it's mean. It is abusive. You it's know? abusive. All you gotta do is... Because during those three minutes, that person is processing the end, literally the end of the world. No, they go on their phone and they look on Twitter to see if it's, like, but also you, No, they don't. They stand there like this, and these poor <laughs> people are like... Because they're dumbass. They, they also probably know it's, like, fake. Too. Maybe like that's the thing. Maybe the whole thing's in fake. Yeah. I hate it, and I want it to end. Well, you know, TikTok. Don't do this shit to people. Well, TikTok yeah. is, uh, is you know, the Chinese intelligence agencies are yeah. totally all over TikTok. Like, it's, yeah. So do you think? Well, how do you tie that to this? Do you think they're like? No, I'm not saying that's a result of the content. I'm just saying, like, if you interact with that stuff, like, you're basically giving over a lot of your information to. Uh, the, what, did, what are the they going to They're going to find out about me and my wife's best friend. I don't know what, what they would saying? do with it, but they'll have it. They'll yeah. have your information. It drives me. It's really sad because I see these people, and they look like the people you'd see at the mall. They look just like normal people. A bit of and like, why don't you think? How do you not see that this is a terrible thing to do to somebody? What the hell? What are those people called? Like non-player? Re oh, NPCs. NPCs. They're yeah, NPCs. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's why they don't think. Uh, they have no thoughts. Mm -hmm. NPCs. NPCs. Do you know about this? No. Non-player characters. Like, oh. you know when you're playing a video game and there's oh, those, like, oh, oh. people just, like, in the world? Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they call, like, regular people NPCs right. that are... Now, when they interact, it's, like, something off. Something like but that. But you don't, you don't think this is a funny prank. Like no or do you? Well, I watched your one video, and I didn't think... Yeah. It was harmful. The dads didn't seem convinced. They weren't like, oh, shit, this, let's get in the basement. They were just kind of watching are, it. Are you a fan of Orson Welles? Yeah, well, Orson is the original. Are you a fan of Orson Welles? Let me see. I uh, love F is for Fake. I love Citizen Kane, although I don't think it's the greatest movie ever made. Well, what brought Orson Welles to fame? Well, that's different. A great gag on the radio <laughs> called different. War of the Worlds, where people really thought Fucking aliens were coming for real and were tripping out and they traumatized that's different. I think that's so many different. people. Don't you think that's different, though? Be honest. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's just... It's essentially the same gag. You're that's almost more hardcore someone. because that was on the radio. Yeah. That was broadcast like, by... Yeah, a, yeah and that our, was a mistake. This is some kids yeah. pranking <laughs> their mistake. Dad. They did it on purpose. They, they that was a prank a to a whole, from, like, yeah. like, a whole country. This is a prank to a couple dads. A couple yeah, dumbass well, dads. Yeah. I think it's, why would you do that to your family? I why just would don't, you want to, I don't why, understand wait, now here's my question. Why would you want to fool your family? Just uh, answer yeah, honestly. Yeah. Why would for a second, <laughs> you would want to fool your family that the world is coming to an end? <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> it's not answer the question. Why? 
Why would you want to do that? Because it's funny when you when <laughs> they freak out. Funny. And, you, and then no, it's, it's mean when you say it's a joke, and then they and then you all hug, and you there's say, relief. Oh. There's te- well, there's tension. Okay, what then about, there's relief. What about jackass? Yeah, what about Jack? They're not, ta- they're not saying you're going to be killed. No, but they do stuff like wake their parents up in the middle of the night by slacking them on the ass. And yeah, I don't like that either. What about Tom like Green when he used to prank his parents really hard? I hate yeah. that shit. I don't like that shit. I think I, it's I mean. personally, Yeah, I don't think... I don't. I mean, there's a line. That's all One thing all it to is. do the prank, it's another thing to film the prank and yeah. show the prank to the whole world. That's, yes. That's a different but thing. It's, it's, it's a, also it's weird. It's four it's minutes up. of that person processing the end of the world. Yeah. Is that cool? <laughs> I don't think so. Sorry, no. I, if, I, if that makes me Bill Maher and Mr. <laughs> not cool guy, then I'm happy to be the leader of that kind of thought. Yeah. Move you should, on you from should that have shit. like a, an after hours, office hours where you hang out and smoke <laughs> weed and drink wine and <laughs> just, you know, just, just chill. chill. Like get a yeah. lava lamp going, yeah. and, you know. Well, I have a sub basement. <laughs> exactly. I, have a, I have a basement under here. Oh, you have a sub basement? Yeah. That's where the stripper poles are, and that's where I have sort of more underground parties. Nice. Was that what Santa saw that he was talking about? Oh, you wouldn't yeah. believe the things I've seen in With Tim's, the best friends, the sub in Tim's mind. There's a trap do you, door under do here. Do you have to watch all the terrible things that happen in the world, like like people oh, choking yeah. on chips? Yeah, do you have like, like PTSD oh, from like, watching all this stuff? Do you know, know about those people that have to sit through that content uh, on Facebook oh, yeah, and everything? Yeah, they have to yeah. watch that and, mm-hmm. and yeah. delete it? That's Welcome what you do. Welcome to my nightmare. All right, Matt, about an hour ago, I asked for a normal person. Can we have them? She's been on hold, Lauren. Lauren. Nice. The normal Lauren, person with a normal now or By the way, your we, piece. we have uh, an unresolved issue. <laughs> we have the... See if Santa can guess this. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, play the, drop? Uh, play the drop. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, name that man. Mm. Play it again. One more time. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. Very famous. Oh, yeah. No idea. Let's see if we can get somebody. Well, the thing is, I don't <laughs> want to give any hints, but I th- yeah. I'd you like not to know. You know who it is. I think he, I, I can't forgot. Remember who it is, Vic is so far from the mic sometimes. I can't, oh, I can't I remember. remember. This, who it is. You should have seen what happened. I have to oh tell you what God. happened. Play it again. I don't want to prank anybody, but. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right. Glad he's not getting here. it. Glad he's not getting it. Glad to be here. All right. Let's take Glad Lauren. Lauren? Throw me a freaking bone here. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Hey, Lauren. Hello, Hi. Lauren. Can you see me? Yes, yeah. I can see you. Hi. I can see inside your mind also. <laughs> Are you ready to be judged by Santa? Do you have any impure thoughts? I've been watching Office Hours for many years. I've never zoomed in. This is my first time. I know that, too. I know everything. So how can we help you? Second birthday. It's your what birthday? 32nd birthday. Today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tonight. Okay. Yeah. Happy. I'm like saying happy birthday is tomorrow. I know. I'll sing like... I'll sing it quietly or something. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy birthday, New Year's Eve. Well, happy birthday anyway, because we won't be with you on your birthday, so let's say it now. Happy sure. birthday. Happy birthday. It's insane. Well, thank you for your years of support and listening. And are you a Patreon member? I am. Well, thank I you for your years of I support. When in Brooklyn at the show at the Bell, the Bell House. Uh-huh. Vic. Vic. Yes. You what, Vic? You said hi to Vic? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Turn this is up. going great. Was, uh, <laughs> what can we help you with? How can well we done, help Vic. you? It was the best. <laughs> Victor Berger. That was a fun. You just want to say hi? You just want to say hi? Do you want to guess with the, you want to guess this voice? Get play it again. I can't believe I'm on office house right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. Any idea who that is? <laughs> Shit, I almost have it. No. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, well, I you're on off, you're on office hours now. Anything else? No, I told Matt I'm uh, probably going to be boring. He can cut me off. Okay, uh, no. we'll go not ahead. before I judge yeah. you and let you yeah. know whether you've been good or bad. Would you like to find? Can out I give a hint? Or- a, can I give a hint? It's an abstract hint. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Some might think that it's Judith, but it's not. 
I don't do no- I know who it is, and I don't. That don't do nothing for me. I could add to that. Some think it's Tony, but it's actually Judith. Bob, who's the boss? Uh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Very, he, 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 Santa ah, doesn't watch yeah, these old yeah. 80s yeah. sitcoms. Somebody, somebody said something that was theater. a major hit. hit, hit. You do? Doing films. Who said that, Matt? Huh? Did you say that, Matt? Who's the boss? All right, listen. It's 7 o'clock here Tony on the Danza. Pacific Coast. It's Tony Danza. Bye, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. It's not Tony. Wait, some, no, wait. Lauren. Before Lauren leaves, oh. I have to tell her whether she's been good or bad. Okay. Right, do you, let me ask you this. Before I give you the judgment, do you think you're a good or a bad? Probably in the middle. There's only two answers, dear. A <laughs> good gen- or a bad? Good, generally. You're right. You are a good. I'll see you okay. on Christmas. Oh, clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I love you guys. Thank you so much. So if I were you, I would just... I'd lean bad just because it'd be less work. <laughs> and you know what? We need. I need to. Uh, Neil Hamburger forgot to plug his tour, so let's pull this up. Real quick. That's the whole idea of him coming in here. I know, and he forgot. He's on tour in January. Get your tickets at Bitly. Neil, Neil Hamburger right, with special guest major entertainer Don't, will appear oh, you have January 2023 in San Antonio, Texas, on Monday the 9th. On January 10th in Austin, Texas. On the 11th in Houston, Texas. On the 12th in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. On the 13th, Lafayette, Louisiana. On the 14th, New Orleans, New- Louisiana. On the 26th, Santa Cruz, California, coming back down the West Coast. On the 27th, <laughs> Oakland, California. And then on the 29th, right back here in Hollywood. sunny Los Angeles, California. The Hollywood Bowl. Hollywood Bowl? Now, mention the ticket link. The ticket link is at <laughs> bit.ly backslash n e i l tour. So it's bit.ly slash neil tour. Bitly, we say bitly Call in the biz. Bitly, okay. And buy it. That is a, tu- a, d- a demented tour poster. Don't yeah. you think? It's, there's something really <laughs> demented about Three it. Three states. So if you're in Texas, Louisiana, <laughs> Three or states. California, <laughs> Three come states. out and see a Neil Hamburger. <laughs> That's really funny. Three states. <laughs> Three states. That's what this has in common. Well, three states. I guess there's three states. We call it that. Yeah, that's the theme. Um, (laughs) All right. Well, we're going to Matt. What should we do? Talk to me. Uh, Why don't you say who the? Oh, you want to find out who the mystery voice is? I mean, they know it. Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Join us for the cocktail hour starting in a few minutes. Thank you. On a new link. Yeah. Get back on Patreon. You'll find the link. Yes. Zoom. Explain this, because people, I hate to say this, you know, it's they have tricky. trouble with this stuff. Let me say this. We're going to end this stream on Patreon. We'll post a new stream and hang out. Santa's probably going to go back to the North Pole. And the boys here. If you can guess who, who, who I am, I'll send you a bottle of sweet berry wine. Ooh. Well, I think that's a lot of <laughs> bottles going out. In no, the just <laughs> only the first person who oh. guesses right. <laughs> it's like the person who... Uh, buys the uh, Trump cards <laughs> is going to win that uh, Zoom call with him. <laughs> for the, uh, that's a dinner, too, that he yeah. shits on. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the prize we yeah. all want, but that's what we got. Yeah. I guess that's a prize. <laughs> I, li- I have to shout out uh, James Austin. What's his name? Uh, I, I, know, I always forget what, his name. Brian Austin quote. Green. No. James Austin. John- James Earl Jones. Jo- James Austin Johnson? Yes. A comedian? Jesus Trump Christ, stuff? that's a mess, that name. Yeah. But it's he's the best. He yeah. did a good. That Scooby thing from the beginning was just yeah. so killer. But he did the he did a parody of the Trump card. Yeah. S- 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 no. Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. I'm. Yeah. But he said. I saw that too. Looks like a seems like a scam, and it probably <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little cadences he gets right are yeah, pretty. Yeah, special. probably. <laughs> he does uh, better than better than Lincoln, better than Washington, better than Ezra, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty good. (laughs) I haven't Uh, seen that one. (laughs) All right, everybody. Happy holidays to all you cheapskates that don't support the Patreon. Um, We love you regardless of who you are, what you believe in. And uh, to all the good people out there, we'll be back in a few moments with a little looser show. I'm probably going to sit in the Santa chair. I'm going to have some more of that wine. Take your shoes off. Take my shoes off. Wash, burn them, and then get a new pair. All right. 
See you next year. To all you many people. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,